Yo guys, what up, what up? It's the kid, 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 trying to live, trying to exist, trying to stay alive, trying to live, trying to stay alive, man. We've got a good show for you, man. We've got a good show for you, man. This I've got my green tea in here, man. And this show is going to be super reality. That's what this live show is going to be about. It's going to be super reality. Let me just tell you a little bit of what's going to be on the show. Tottenham against Aston, obviously. We're going to um, review that bomb-ass excuse for a North London derby. That was a completely trash useless not one another and we're gonna we're, 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 we're we're talk about parenting so parenting is going to be a huge topic and then so i'm going to talk about parenting and dropping your child off we're going to talk about penalty goals and non-penalty goals and why there's a penalty tax um we're also going to be talking about your boy um kid and son kid and son what they've been doing who is better and what and how they've been doing in this season sort of answer who's going to get top for that's a big thing the streets are saying that the scheme is not going to extend at Bayern Munich. And we're hearing that Barcelona, for some reason, because I know these guys London money, are front runners for getting the ski. What could it mean for the ski joining Barcelona and why aren't Chelsea involved in this push? Frankie de Jong, we're hearing that he may leave Barca and we're hearing United is a possible destination. Some people came at me for the video, I calling him a system merchant. We'll get down to that and we'll discuss that like men and gentlemen as well. Um... Benz and Vinny are cooking. Benz and Vinny are cooking. I get it's Levante. I know that um, Le 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 Levante are complete and, and utter crap. But these guys are cooking and we're going to have a little bit of a talk. Just a little bit of a talk about um, your boys, um, um, Benzema and Vinny and Vinny's hat trick and <laughs> Benzema invoking his inner iron on your boy. And we'll probably end up with the PK interview, which proved me right, which was the fact that a certain individual um ran a guy out of town but people um thought that i was lying so guys it's a full-on show it's going to be cool and it's going to be be grand man so look man there's only one one place to freaking start guys it's only one place to freaking start man um so let me get my um thingy up in there all right here we go beautiful what happened to the arsenal fan that was going to come on oh <laughs> i've sent to the link I've sent the link, so, 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 so he better come on. He said he was going to come on, so he better come on. Um, let me first start by saying that Arsenal best not screw this up. Let, let, like, let's start there. <laughs> because I've already heard that people already have plans for the UCL. I've heard that people that they've even already printed the Arsenal jersey with the UCL badge on there. And here's the thing, guys. For a long time, I said, no way. No way. There's no way that these guys are going to get top four. Blah, blah, blah. Then when they went on the run, I was like, oh, damn. I still think these guys could still squeeze in through. Because I don't think we should assume that Tottenham are going to win those two games. Because it's Tottenham. And I don't trust them winning these two games, man. Um, but before we even look at the whole top four thing, there isn't too much to say about, the, about this game per se. So I want to just pick out particular topics. But let me just first start with Rob Holden. Rob Holding has to rank as one of the dumbest dudes that I know. He's been, he's been inducted into Class B of the Brick Academy. And I cannot think of the last time a player made a decision that stupid. You know you're on a yellow card. This is a high-octane game. High-level game. You're only 1-0 down. You know that your team have a very good chance of actually turning around the game or even taking a point, which would be grateful for you guys. So you know you're on a yellow card and you decide to elbow a dude. Um, Abdul, can you please explain to me what this pirate was thinking by elbowing a dude when he was on a on a yellow card? <clears throat> it is like actually, I was trying to ask I was Ian Terry because I wanted to know like, is there any side effects to having a hair transplant? Because Rob Holding, you know, he had a hair transplant recently. Oh, did he? Yeah, did you not? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, because 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 he, he's a bit balding up there, isn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. They used to call him Rob Holding, Rob Holding. Yeah. yeah, like, um, idiotic, bro, idiotic. Like, what is he doing, man? And the worst part is, bro, like, you're 1-0 down, mm. and, like, a draw would have been an amazing result. Yes, would have been would have been really good. But, H.H., you know, I said this yesterday, and, like, I'm not a type of person to come on here and say, you know, I said this, I said that. Mm. But be, I've been on here for a long time, a long time now. People, they can, they know, they know what I'm saying. But H yesterday I said that Teller he's a naive manager, bro. He's going to play into Spurs' hands. 
you can't play a 4-3-3 against one of the best counter-attacking sides in the world. Bro. Yeah, that's what we're saying yesterday, man. That's what we're saying yesterday. Bro, he fell into the trap, bro. He fell into the trap. Like, he, he fell into this Nketiah hype, bro. bro. He's... he's Sorry for swearing. He's a dog shit footballer, bro. Oh, God damn. Bro, and K- Saka, bro. Where was Saka today? I was I was hearing the Black Messi, bro. No, 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 no. Abdul, now here's the thing. This this is the play I'll give you. No, no. Black Messi, that's his psych, psych, psychopathic thinking. But here's the thing. You've got to copy my play. Ten, ten men tax. They went down to ten men pretty early on in the, in, in the game. So when you're, when, when, when you're down to ten men... I'm not going to put that much on you of how well you perform as an attacking player because the whole dynamics of the game changes when you're a man down, especially yeah, away from home. True. That's true. Yeah, 100%. I agree, bro. I agree. But this is on, on, on a tether for me, bro. I will admit the penalty was soft. The penalty was soft. Abdul, what are you doing running into a freaking dude? No, like, I know. Like, that's you know, because, because Neville was even saying that he does that all the time. But you've got to be crafty in how you do it. He did it so clumsy because you know, no people do it, but you have to do it in a very sneaky, smart, clever yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. But he did it so clumsily. The ref was like, "Man, just for how moronic you are, penalty, bro." A hundred percent, bro. A hundred percent. But I think it was soft, and it's one of those games like it's it's fine margins. You feel me, bro? It's fine mm-hmm. margins. But the game went like how I expected it to go. Although, like that red card, it did change it because you see, that's bro, the thing because. That's right. There's not that much to really analyze of the game because it's eleven yeah. against ten, and it was so, so early as well. It was it's so, so early. early. So, so that's why I always find it hard to really say anything about eleven against ten because when you're a man down, it's very very tough, especially when you're away from from home. Unless yeah, you were a truly excellent team, which Arsenal aren't, you just knew that, bro. One zero, like this, it's, it's a foregone conclusion. Like, like and like, especially like, so. because they have such a poor record in that stadium, bro. Yeah, like for me, it was finished then, 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 then but bro. Your sun, man. Like the sun rises in the west or the east, wherever. East, the sun, the sun rises in the yeah, east, bro. Like, no, no, yeah. no, no, no. I didn't pass geography. You no, know, yeah. I always feel that my my sister, was, sorry, my teacher was a racist. So, oh yeah. Shout out to Peter Peter Brown, prick. Shout out, shout out. <laughs> but yeah, bro. Like sun and K, like sun and If you took Spurs twenty-one tax, non-penalty goals. If you took Spurs tax into consideration, he should have won yes. PSV Player of the Year. Yes, yes, bro. Son, like he's so, he's so lethal, bro. He's so lethal, like it's crazy. And this guy, he's been doing it. Like normally, the reason why I don't, I don't really raise Son that highly is because he has big droughts. Like his goals, they're like Ronaldo. You know, the, Ronaldo this season. Oh yeah, yeah like basically in bunches and bunches. Yeah, like Ronaldo, he scored all his goals against ten teams this season. You feel me, bro? Like, but eighteen goals, you think? Oh, he's scoring every other actually, game. Actually, no, shut let's up. be, shut up, let's be fair though. This it's in goals by Cristiano. I don't think they're penalties because Bruno takes the penalties, or are these are, are some of these penalties? These no, no, he took he, like I don't know. He does, wait, you know, oh, yes, not, okay, so he's taking some penalties, so he's he's he taking some penalties. penalties. Yeah, he was still taking penalties, <laughs> but still, but it's um, cheap as this guy. Like, but, I don't know. <laughs> look, 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 if you if you take away the Norwich hat trick and the Spurs hat trick. And the two goals against Newcastle, he's only left with 10 goals all season. Uh, Abdul, goals. leave a 37 year old alone. Yeah. Start no. abusing him. No, yeah, Abdul, you're such, you're such an abusive person. You know that, right? Yes, leave yes, Cristiano yes. Ronaldo alone. Yes, yes. He's 37. Yeah, oh, okay, look, look. Just look. Round off my point. Yeah, round off, round off, round off. Arsenal, they're still doing it, bro. Arsenal, they're still going to get top oh, so, so you still think like they'll get top four? HH, I, I can't imagine a world where Curtis Shaw, Troops, and Don Robbie. Having a meltdown after Everton, I can't. <laughs> no, but, I can't but, like, but, but, but you know, but, you know, the funny thing is that guys, people assume that you know what I think will happen. Arsenal may drop points against New Newcastle. I think Tottenham will drop points against yeah, but, um um what's it called against Burnley. But you know, H- like, H- this they is, should be Norwich. I think they'll drop points against Burnley. You know, H- this is perfect for Spurs because if Spurs were the ones leading the race, mm. I would be so sure that they would be dropping points. They wouldn't have won tonight. If they yeah, were the yeah. ones leading the race, but because they're trying to catch up Arsenal, I think they're less likely to bottle it because the pressure is not really on them. You feel and, me? And also, that's bro. Arsenal have been on good form. This was ten man tax, and but for this game, also got four four wins in a row. So look, I mean, it's gonna be interesting for Abdul man if these dudes screw up top four. It emerges. <laughs> nah, it is nah, nah. Oh, if they screw up top Oh hell yes, hell yes! Oh, but well, well, how are you full on meal, man? Zeman, talk to me, man. 
Yeah, man, HH. Uh, first and foremost, I was I was the one that predicted that Arsenal oh, would make boo, it to the top boo. four. Um, I don't know, <laughs> bro. If they if they get if they, they don't still make it to will, the top man. I dare them man. not to. They still will. I, I I dare them not to, bro. No, the amount of receipts on me, bro. It's it's incredible if they don't make it to the top four, man. It's it's it's, it's going to be insane. But as far as Arsenal go, but you know who they got next? They got Newcastle away. You know that, right? They could drop Tricky, no, points no, if, there. For, for me, if they and can just, come through that, then they've got Everton at the, at the, at the crib. No, that's that, that, that that's that, that's what I'm saying. So, hmm. Z, Z, man, Trippier, Trippier is back for us. They're gonna struggle, man. We're gonna make them pay. Bro. Abdul, go back to your that's, proper. That's, 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 that's what I'm saying, man. I'm saying, man. All the Jordies, they they gotta be up for that game. Just you, you just look at it and you just think to yourself like Zeman, these guys better not know the pressure. Top four. No, no, Zeman, but, the best but the not pressure is top four. on HH. The pressure is on. Do you think they have the will and an ability to see through the pressure? And one of the things that was going on for them as of right now was the Spurs game doesn't matter for us as much as Spurs. So mm. if they would have drawn, that would have been fair. But now that you've lost and Spurs are going in with this momentum, even the loss against Liverpool, it kind of it, it, it gave them a sense of hope in terms of what their forwards can do against mm. other oppositions. And now they're getting results against um, now they're getting results against Arsenal. Um, they're close rivals just in terms of the league table. It just makes you think, man, with this type of momentum. But, 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 but see, Zeman, like, wouldn't you prefer to have your destiny in your hands? But it's the same thing like Man City. You see, I would like if I'd, be, I'd I would long to be asked because like there's nothing worse than my destiny is in someone's hands. I'm hoping that's another team team loses. For us now, this result actually doesn't matter. Win no, your two it, games, it doesn't matter what Tottenham do. It's over. No, it, it does. It does. It puts pressure on you now. You're only one point behind them. Oh no, no, no. But Zeman, the destiny is in your is in your own hands. Aston doesn't yeah. have to rely upon what Tottenham are doing. Same thing with Liverpool and Man City. You don't have to be like, oh my gosh, I hope that City, do they win or lose? For Aston, who cares what Tottenham do? We win these games, it's 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 finito. <laughs> you yeah, know? It's... Now, if you draw, you're like, oh my gosh, please, I hope yeah, that they draw points and everything. That, no, that's that's, that's going to be peak for them. So the next game, they're going to have to respond. Um, and to be honest with you, Arsenal do tend to respond well when mm. when when they've had a bad result. So you can be reliant on that. And this is another test for you know a young squad and a squad that should be getting to the top four just compared to their how inconsistent their competitors are. Zeman, they wouldn't but... dare screw this up. Zeman, they wouldn't, they, they, wouldn't, <laughs> they wouldn't dare. Oh my god, man! All the Arsenal fans that are sending super chats, man. Stay away from the hangout yeah. if that happens. You're gonna get attacked and abused. But yeah, I felt like Spurs were deserving. They they were they were more clinical. They were the better team. Mm. And um, bro, what's that? No, first of all, em Emerson Royale. That that guy is a bum. He's yeah, classic. No, no, no. I got some classic, bum, classic, bro. classic. I've never that, seen that. That guy is horrendous. He's a, because you know. This is the first time I've actually seen him in full for a full game. I was like, okay, come on. You guys are capping, guys are overhyping. I now see what the, the whole hype is about. This guy is a shocking yeah. disgrace to football. Yeah, as well as well as Arsenal's fullback, man. Nuno, what is it, Trafaris? Uh, that guy, that guy is that guy yeah. is god awful, man. That guy's yeah. god awful. They were just competing for who's 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 the likely to take the brick of the game. And um I just listen, man, I, I think that I think that this was the best case scenario for Spurs, obviously, but for Arsenal, that's just another test, and that that defeat got to hurt because the whole buildup was, um, you 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 seen quotes from Arteta saying that this this game it matters to us. I can see us winning this game and all that, and the momentum going behind that game just no, to but, lose but, it to Spurs. But I think I can't blame Arteta because I've always said, okay, like look at Arteta's setup and and so forth. We don't know what would have happened if it's eleven v eleven. The moments holding got sense of. Everything changed. Everything changed. Like, 11 v 11, I still believe Tottenham win 2 1, but who knows? Who knows? Because Arsenal were actually looking really, see, Arsenal were looking is, really let good. Me, let, in me the opening, so, yeah. let me ask you a question. Would you blame Arteta if I told you he gave Holding a brand new four year contract? So. <sighs> Partly. Partly because yes, you blame it if you know that a guy is prone to doing this nonsense and so forth, and then he then does this non nonsense. You are partly to blame, but this is 
particular nonsense. It's one thing making a mistake or so forth. This is like an extra, extra, superb, incredible mistake because this is like, no, this is peak stupidity. This is peak stupidity. Okay, defensive mistake, you, 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 I'm on goal, you didn't clear ahead or so forth. That's one thing, but to go down to, like if a guy makes a mistake, you lose the goal, fine, we lose the goal, but we still have 11 v 11. You take a red card, that drastically changes the game. Let me be 2-0 down, 11 men. 3-0 down, 11 men. We can ride. I mean, goal down, 10 men. I mean, I mean, what? Come on, man. Come on, man. So, yeah, there's always much you can do. Um, what's the goal? Let me come to Anthony, man. Talk, talk. So, Anthony, so you're back at Tottenham after being on loan to Ajax, man. If you it fake is. fan, well, yeah, welcome back, welcome back, bro. It listen, 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 it is. listen. Fake fan, I know. From from January, I went on loan. You know the every. I didn't expect anything from Spurs this season. I've seen it. How Spurs? How Spurs actually accepted you back? You Judas no, Traitor. No, hey, 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 just because. Honestly, I didn't crack like a joke. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Why are you laughing? Have they have, have they welcomed you back? You Judas Traitor. Hey, hey, hey. Expectations. If you lower your expectations for Spurs, success comes anyway. So let me tell you what. Let me tell you. I came back from loan after after. We baptized her running in 5-0 with Ajax. Now I'm back. They yeah, the, uh, the, the loan after. ended, bro. Tell him. Tell, uh, tell, no, actually, no, no, the loan no, ended, no, no, bro. No, 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 that's crap. <laughs> so the loan only ends when somehow you start winning and so for Give me that. Forget that crap. What kind no, of loan is this, man? Hit it, hit it, hit it. Hit it. I, now, I, now believe in, I now believe in the project. I believe in the project. I believe that Antonio Conte will be back. I believe okay, that hold up. Let me have you on record. Gatla Kopi, you are... Record, let me have your record. If Tottenham don't get top four, will you still believe in the project? HH, we're getting top four. Let me rephrase that question again. If Tottenham don't get top four, will your Judas treacherous self still believe in the project? We or no? Yes or no? HH, it depends on what loans are available. All right, can you can you can you talk about Kane and Son? Who is who is better? Who who do you believe in more? Who who deserves more praise? Kane, Kane or Son? Uh, for this game, I'd like to say Kane because because of the penalty. Mm. I think that was a very pressurized moment. If he misses it, all the jokes come about him. He's a brick, Larry Lane, Queen Lizzie tax. But I think in that moment, he he really came up clutch for us. Uh, at the start of the game, the game was very back and forth, and Son was Son had holding on strings. This guy mm. sh holding should have gotten a yellow card like twice. No, 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 he was trash. I, I don't know what yeah. I don't know what hold break was doing, man. The guy, the guy was trash. Bro. <laughs> yeah. So I, I say, I say his the shoulder barge was a red card, and but the ref gave a second yellow. I think it was a sending off either way. Uh, and the game, I think that's when the game turned and it, it was easy so, from there. So, okay, hold up. So you said you believe you're getting top four. Yeah. So you so your top four is based on you're going to win the two games and Arsenal will what, lose to Newcastle, lose my, to Everton, draw against Newcastle. How does my, it happen? My, my top, what, I'm, what I think is going to happen is Newcastle beats Arsenal away. And uh, Ever Everton will probably be in the beach. They'll be safe because I think leads are going down. Mm. So I'd probably say Arsenal lose to Newcastle away and win at Everton at home. And we beat Burnley. But I think we're going to draw to Norwich because Norwich has always been a hard... Norwich away has always been a hard game. Norwich in general. Remember the time where Eric Dyer was running like a monkey up the stands and stuff? Wait, oh, so oh, Norwich, the, the team who are bottom of the table. Yeah, I think I think that's that's a game where you know people will expect us to walk over them, but I think being Tottenham, it is what it is. But I think I think I think yeah, today's game was today's game was very important. It was a very important okay, game, okay. and I don't I don't want to hear bottlers ever again for the next oh well no oh, few well, months for the next few well, months. No 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 no, months, no 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 Anthony, no, that's not how it works. Anthony, if you guys lose to either Burnley or Norwich or drop points against Burnley or Norwich, that's going to come. Because let me tell you right now, 
I don't believe Tottenham are going to win those but two. Hey, 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 let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Sure, if, Arsenal, sure. if Arsenal don't get top four, uh-huh. they are now the new bottlers. Yes. Oh, yes, 100%, yes. But don't just start preempting things and so forth because you beat a 10-man Arsenal. Let's see what happens after 38 games. Mr. Arsene Wenger, talk to me about your boys' Arsenal, man. So, oh, it's very... Uh, yeah, it was It was a very, uh, I don't know, very disappointing game, to be honest. But, uh, um, yeah... Who do you blame? Everybody... Holding or Ateta? Or is, is Holding the main guy to, to blame for, 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 for the hell? Holding, to be honest, uh, he was just on a very high adrenaline, you know, so he was very hyped for no reason. I mean, after you get that yellow card, um, and obviously, you know, a lot of referees, you know, they just let that slide, but this mm. referee, you know, gave him yellow card straight for the first foul. That should have already given him warning that this referee is not playing around. So for you to go again and elbow another human being, that's just, to me, it's just, that means he Big lost stupidity. That was, yeah, it was very stupidity. But on top of that, also, the other, the one blame I would say for Arteta is, you know, um, you can't have holding, marking, uh, and um, Son, you know, like most of the time, holding was pressuring Son. And personally, a player like Son, you know, you have to close the gaps, you know, which means you have to have at least two to three players trying to at least cover him. But, um, you know, Son easily was, you know, spinning holding around the whole time. So, yeah, it was it was soon to come the red card. I mean, personally, you know, uh, yeah, but yeah, um, I think defensively we could have done better. You know, you know, like mm. kind of like it was. Yeah, we could have just done better. I I don't know how else I could explain to be honest. But yeah, so, I mean, do you believe? So do you believe you still get top four despite um, the setback? Um, I I still believe so. Yeah, it depends on uh, who's available for the game. Uh, honestly speaking, if uh, at the moment we still have a good decent amount of squad to, you know, get a good result against mm. um, um, against Newcastle, but I believe if we win against Newcastle, we get top four, right? Is that right? Oh no, no, well, well, no. It depends on the you have, you have ever, so basically it's it's one point. So if you beat Newcastle and then Tottenham beats um, Burnley. Mm. Yeah, there's still only one point for the last game. So basically, you need so so, so basically, you pretty much need to win both games. Okay. Pretty so much I, need, to, need to win both both games because if if you beat them, but let's say you draw your last game and Tottenham win both games, Tottenham will finish ahead ahead of you. Yeah. So I, I would say honestly, a result against uh, Newcastle is possible, but once again, like um, you know, <laughs> I honestly, if these guys really want top four, they're gonna have to go out there and get the job done. As for Everton, that would be a tough game. We all know how, what they did to us last time. And this time mm-hmm. they're playing for a main reason, which is, I believe, like they're playing to fight, you know, for... Uh, they could be safe already because I, I believe they'll probably be safe. Okay. Are they? Do they have a game before before they play us, I believe, right? So I yeah, don't know. Who yeah, they're yeah. So the thing is, yeah, I don't know what it is, but I still think, the job just needs to be done. I think at least, you know, a draw and a win or something like that, you know, that's something's got to be done. Um, today's game it already passed by, honestly, that red card honestly just put the game behind us. So once we got the red card, there was no way. And that's why even, um, you know, uh, and our, uh, they asked Arteta, why didn't you bring in, um, uh, what's his name, defender? Uh, uh, Who? On... Um, Oh, sorry, I'm just forgetting that. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, 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 so, okay, so, basically, so, just, so, so basically, bottom line, you, you still believe that you'll get top, top four? I I still have hope so, yeah, but if we don't get results against uh, Newcastle, I, I don't know, I don't see it anymore. Okay, okay. Yeah, when... Yes, talk to me. All right, yes, talk to me, man. Uh, HH, HH. Well, yes, yes, sir. by the way, congratulations on the youth cup, man. Hey, I think I'm yeah. winner. Abdul, hey. Abdul, don't you dare. Abdul, yo, don't you dare. Yo, yo, yo. Abdul, H-H-H-H-H-H-H. don't you dare. Don't H-H-H-H-H. you dare. Drop the break. Don't you drop the break. One bloody fool. You sick, sick, sick man. You sick, twisted individual. H-H-H-H. Don't you you see Granacho, though? You see that? You see that? Uh, yes, yeah, don't you? Yes, don't you? Yes, don't you? You are a shameless, shameless, shameless creature. 
top H-H, four. We yes, won, yes, we won the FA Cup. So yes, let me yeah. put that if side. you, I say, if you, were, basically, okay, yes, yeah, I'm going to give you like a million dollars, a million, and this is it. Put your money. Who comes top four after Ooh. 38 games? Talk to Morales now. A million big ones, a million gazunis, a million, a milli. You got a milli. Who do you, H-H, who, it who depends do you on one man. It depends on one man. Oh, oh. And I sent you a, I sent you a tweet. Uh, okay. But, um, pull it up. It depends on one human being. You know, I had an agenda. This this guy, this guy has irritated me, frustrated me. And I said, this guy, he's trash. He's garbage. He's useless. He, he this guy, H-H, I'm gonna give you a more hints. This guy has given you grief. This guy has put you through some dark times, H-H. Okay. But wait, who are you referring to? H-H, pull up my tweet. Yeah, pull up my tweet, H-H. Pull up my tweet. What's what's freaking tweets, bro? Uh, I, I DM'd you. I DM'd you. My last tweet, I DM'd you, bro. Pull it up. Share yeah, it to up, everyone. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, no, you didn't. You didn't DM me any. Oh, okay, okay. Hold up here. Wait, wait. Hold up. Let me, let me, let me send this thing to someone. And then oh, hold I'll up, hold up. This. Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay. All right, all right. So, you, <laughs> all right. Let so, me this tweet. HH is, is it relies oh, on what is, one what's, what's, what's human being. What I am telling what H-H, is this crap? H-H, we might see a legend yes, in the making. H-H. Some shit. We might see a legend in the making. We said he was crap. We said he was useless. We said he was a bum. We call him Francis. We call him Francis. We call him Bernard. We could be saying he's useless. He's crap. But this guy, on May 22nd, he can be a legend. He can be a legend. Hold up. No, hold he on, hold on. He can be a up. hero. Let me ask you this. Chill out. Take your, take your stress pills. If Everton are already safe, if Everton are already safe by May 22nd, then he doesn't have to do anything. Now, if they're not safe, that's a different. But if, let's say, Everton are already safe it by is. May 22nd, you don't understand. Which, which I think they will. You understand. We ridiculed him. We abused him. You said he was a bum. You call him the Antichrist. You yes. did all that. Yes. You did H H. This guy, we said him he is a loser. We yes. told him he should not be a manager. That's yes. what we said. And he has the ability on May twenty second to destroy and crush all hope for Arsenal Football Club and their fans. H H. This this is the same guy who lost a FA Cup final against Arsenal. This guy, this guy, this man. Nah, HH, if, if Lampard, if he does this, he could be a legend. He could be a legend. And that's, it's up to him. The, the ball is in his court. He he's could already, be a legend. He's already a legend regardless. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, as a player, yeah. as a player, but as a manager. As a manager. <laughs> as a manager. This manager. guy. Oh, that's all I'm going to say, HH. And, man, it's just, it's just crazy, though. Like, it's so weird. Arsenal are a funny, funny club, you know? They, they beat Chelsea. They beat Man United. You know, they, you know, they do all this, right? They they are here. They beat Leeds, whatever, right? And you're thinking, you know what? These guys are guaranteed. These guys are guaranteed to be in top four. I'm like, there is yes, no... Yes, yeah. They dare not for fail H-H, to I, make I, top four. H-H, if I they not... may fail to make top four, Twitter is going H-H, to be let's be real. H-H, let's be real. Let's be real. Let's be real. No, H-H, let's, let's be real. real. Did you expect this game? Did you expect Arsenal to get lubricated? Did you expect that? 10 man sacks, 10 man sacks. But HH, 11, it, it, 11, 10 man sacks, 10 man sacks, 10 man sacks. But, but irrespective, HH, irrespective of this, of that, mm-hmm. HH, I'm, I'm here sitting like, there is no way Arsenal needs needs a point. They don't even need to win this game. They just needed a point guaranteed. Boom. That What you call that? Uh, what, is, what is that guy who uh, who's a, a president of UEFA? Saffron is his name? Shefferin, uh, Shefferin. How do you how do you Sheffrin. get Shefferin? How do you get Shefferin from Shefferin? Jesus man. Hey, he was about to step, you know, give him an official stamp, you know, uh, you know, give him an official visa, like a Champions League visa, to enter the Champions League. H H. Just a point. Just one point. Bro, they just conceded three. They conceded the red card. The game was over in twenty minutes. You wanna H-H, hear something? I'm, I'm, you wanna I'm hear so... something funny, bro? Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't believe it, HH. You know the Champions League Instagram and and Twitter page, they all unfollowed Arsenal. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. After this result? That's a violation. No, 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 no. They unfollowed them like a while ago. They no 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 come on. They can't do that. They can't do it. No. They haven't followed them. <laughs> no, no, but, but, but guys, here's the thing though. 
they can still do this. But but the they edu- can well, stay can still. That's not the point. Edu- yeah, that's, that's not the stay. point. Edu- that's not the point. Supposed. The point is, they could have secured it today. Yeah, you could have secured. You know, oh, that's no, the- but we, no, no. Yes, yeah, so we need the drama. What's so we need but, but no, I, I, the we, drama? Of course, we I love the drama. H H. But it's like, it's such an Arsenal thing to do. It's such an Arsenal. Like you beat Chelsea for what reason? I don't understand. You beat Man United. I don't for what yes, reason. Yes, I don't yes, understand. Sir. This is the this well, is the like good team, bro. Spurs are a good team. No, 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 no. no, no. Yes, you hold on, hold on. Yes, yeah. This is the Chelsea cause. For doing that against the Sanford Bridge, we have put the Chelsea cause to the boy. Um, sanctioned by my man, drug, hundred percent. But you beat us at Sanford Bridge. You don't have a Zima, Shut up, Zima, But H H, you know, I, I, I. Yes, I talk about H H. I still think they're favorites. I'm still saying that they're favorites. Arsenal's favorites. I'm gonna say this right now. They're favorites. No, no, no. If they win, their, it's in their hands. But they win your two no. games, fini, finito. You know, we know what's funny, right? Last season, Arsenal were in a similar situation where they were in the European League semifinals. I guess Villarreal, and they could they 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 they, they folded. They they were there. They would could they could have been in the European League final, and they bottled it. And now they were four points clear of t- uh, Tottenham. They came into this game, coming into this game, all they had to do was get a point. That's it. They could have scanned the point. They could have scanned. They brought they scanned the win against Man United, and they scanned the win against Chelsea. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, I said, yes, I said it. Yes, I said it. Yes, yeah. Ask my dancing question. If you had money, who you put your money on? Arsenal or Tottenham? And do not, please, do not faint on me. Arsenal or Tottenham? If you had money right now, yes, yeah, talk to me. Focus, focus. I don't think about it. Itchy, this is difficult. I know. Life is, is difficult. We're talking about Spursy versus yes, the us. No. The ass, ass, na, ass, na. <laughs> Oh damn! Um, you know what? I think Arsenal is gonna do it. Ooh, yeah. Hold on. I, oh, so you know what? Hey, Chich, you know so, what? Hey, Chich, wait, wait, hold on. Easy, easy. So the hell? Yo, so they're gonna win office? both games. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, so okay. So so they're gonna win both games. Yeah, Arsenal. I think I think Arsenal somehow some way win. I think that it's going to be decided against this weekend. This weekend, I think Tottenham's going to dr- going to draw. They're going to draw against Burnley. Is this this is written I in the know. stars? I, H-H, I, you know? I told you, man. Talk, yeah, they are. are going to mess up. They're, they're going, going to mess, mess up. up like they're going to mess up, and then somehow, some way, on Monday after that result, they I think I can see like a two-one scammy win Ooh, by Arsenal. Wee. I can see it. H H. Okay, okay, hold on. Okay, let me continue here. Cole, what do you say? We have to be really so cool. Tottenham or Arsenal, top four. Tottenham or Arsenal, top four. Tottenham. Because Thank Arsenal got to play um, Everton um, in the last match day. And I'm telling you, Everton's Lampard is very tricky this season, bro. <laughs> like, I actually think I actually think Everton, Everton's Lampard can actually make it cool. out of the relegation cool. zone. Yes, yeah, so Everton are going to beat Arsenal. At the Emirates, knowing that Arsenal need to win that game is why you're trying, trying, trying to tell me. HH, I, I strongly believe, because the reason why I'm saying this is um, if you look at Burnley, Burnley is going through a transition without Son, Sean Dyche. Sean Dyche is no more there. Also, Norwich, too, they have a good coach in Dean um, Smith, but again, they're not really a good team. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So I think. They could easily outscore Norwich and they could easily outscore Burnley because of those two teams kind of not being that good and being really, really poor in the season. But for Everton, HH, for Arsenal, it's going to be tough, man. I think Everton could get a draw in Emirates, to be honest. I really think they could get a draw in Emirates and, and actually get out of the so, relegation. So, so, so you're putting your money on, t- on, on Tottenham then? Yeah. All right. Um, Miguel, what are you saying? Arsenal and Tottenham after the events of this game, man. <clears throat> yo, yo, can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me, bro? Can you hear me, bro? Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Listen, man, top four final, right? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> oh, man. Arsenal, Arsenal, man. No, yeah, but see, when it comes to things like this with top four, with so much on the line, you know, it requires a certain mentality, right? And mm. are we going to sit here and say that Arsenal, have they proven over the last, let's say, uh, Five years or so that they've proven to have that kind of mentality. But they've been on the winning run, though. They've been on a winning run. But my thing is, yes, this, there's mm-hmm. huge pressure on them now. There's massive mm-hmm. pressure on them now. But what was the build-up for this week, though? Oh, the top four final. Ooh, who's who's going to get top four when the yeah. when the pressure when the pressure was on them? <laughs> we, the whole Arsenal came back, the one we <laughs> love, right? Yeah, man. So, so, so basically, but if you're a better man, two games to go. Tottenham have Burnley and Norwich. Um, Arsenal have. Everton and Newcastle. 
if you're a betting man. How many points are Tottenham from, uh, one from point. Arsenal? One point. Mm. Just one point. You know, the irony, right? <laughs> Lampard. Lampard is the guy. <laughs> <laughs> Your boy Lamps. Uh, yeah, man. I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to give it to Tottenham, man, because the thing is with uh, Everton, man, Everton and Newcastle, th- these guys these guys are going to be tough cookies to crack at the end of the season, man. And when it comes to Nor- Norwich already relegated, am I right? Yes. Uh, okay. Much. Oh, yeah, they are. They are. They are. They are out of there. Yeah, man. And, uh, you know, with the son of Queen Lizzie himself looking like he's starting to hit four, man, I don't know. So it's, it's looking kind of peak for Arsenal right now, man. I'm going to give the edge to Tottenham, man. Okay. Okay. It's just, because, can I ask a question? One question. Very quick, very quick, because I'll take some dumps. Go for it. How come I didn't hear you praise Harry Kane for his performance today? Yes. Yeah, no, I didn't praise Harry Kane. Had, had, um, H-H, like, Harry, Harry Kane. I praised Harry Kane. I praised Harry Kane. I praised Harry Kane. I said Harry Kane is a is a child of God. Is a child of Zen. I praised him. Better player than Son. All right. Thank you. Chill out. Chill out, Zeman. Casey says. Spurs and Chelsea have won the same, the same. Wait, that can't be true. Easy, easy. Because... Thanks for the dub there, Casey. Thank you for the dub. That can't Thank be true. <laughs> well, wait, so, uh, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. Uh, yes, yeah. Zoteng TV. Zoteng TV. Thank you for the dub, Zoteng TV. Ishish, let's be real. We all want us now to miss top four. Frankie de Jong is coming home. Jesus. Respect football heritage. United with no seal can attract Jesus himself to Man United. League, I am going to speak. Zohar Tseng TV, I'm going to come back to this bomb ass dub. I'm going to come out to this yeah, bomb ass trash ass dub. We um, signed oh, Pogba in the Europa League. Yes, 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 yes. We had that dude at the bottom. This guy doesn't shut up, man. You know, Arsenal, they are going to be in part three next season because they weren't in Europe this season. No. You're lying. They're going to be part three. They're gonna be in part three, so they're gonna get two like really good teams in their group. And I sure. can't wait, bro. And I can't wait. Is she so? What, do we, yes, do we want them to miss out though? Shush. Casey says, um, Kulusevsky better than Saka, Back. Smith Rowe, and other other guard. Kulusevsky is nice though. Kulusevsky is nice. He's nice. That's not true. He's nice. He's nice. I mean, is he better? I rate Saka bomb. I do rate Saka, but Kulusevski is nice. Kulusevski is nice. Yeah, I, I think he's under. I'd, I'd say Kulusevski is better than. Him. I'd, I'd I'd put him over Saka just slightly. No, Saka is that dude. Don't do that. Don't do that. Saka is nice. No, no, you guys are disrespecting. Hold up, Lakobom. Thank you for the double Lakobom. Um, what was Ateta's plan at halftime? Was it to add more blue magic or and black hair dye? God, he gave up. Success. But if it was to change the game, then he failed. Look, Ateta is a rookie. And as, a, as a, a, a rookie, you don't have a game plan for when you go a man down. Once you're 5, 10 years, 15 years deep, you do have a, okay, so this is our game plan for if you have a, a, a man down to try to be compact and so forth. Because that adage is true. It's hard to play against 10 men because normally when you're against 10 men, you become a lot more economical with the ball. And psychologically, the team, <laughs> the extra man, feels that they should... Um, that the game is easier, but the, but the game doesn't actually become easier through execution. But Ateta is an experience, so he doesn't really know how to play compact, play economical, and really be a lot more effective and use the ball a lot better on the on, on the counter. Because they could, also could have done better with 10 men, trust me. Because 10 men, you sit back, men behind the ball. So that's what Abdul said their approach should have been to start the whole game. But again, Ateta is from the road. He sells fruits. Um mm-hmm. No, I don't think, I don't think it's like, I, 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 I honestly don't think it's uh, his rookiness or him being a cone man. Mm. I just think, bro, like disciples of Pep, bro, they're just naive in the head, bro. They're naive. They're naive. They just like we have one player playing and we're just gonna play that no matter wait, what. You wait, think? wait, hold up. I'm um, Vega, I think he needs to reduce the thing because we're getting feedback whenever your mic is on. So maybe you need to reduce your background thing. Um oh no, no, it's just true. Like, but um, Abdul, here's the thing though. Pep has the luxury of the best players in the world. Ateta, you don't have that luxury. So your bomb must better have a freaking plan B, plan Q, and then a plan Z. That's true, bro. Um, Gatlock. Thank you for the dog, Gatlock. Now that HH says Aston are getting top four, they won't. I'm not a jinx. I'm being real. There's no jinx here. I'm just, I'm keeping it a stack. I'm keeping it for going to be a stack. It's the game, Gatlock. It's City the game. Lifestyle says Ateta out. Oh, come on. Don't say that. Let the season first end. Let the season first end. Elsie, Elsie says, a brick said retirement winner Tim's greater than Kane. Does Kane have a major trophy? I'm not sure. Did Kane 
lead a team to a league a league title with double figures and goals and assists did well, kane yeah. ball against brazil at the, at the world cup i don't think he, he did these things kane teams are still clear but well, what about sneak lc 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 hh save katana and the abrita hello criminal the hello tv show is one of the biggest pieces of disgraceful crap i've ever seen in my life man I'm just praying that that new Kendrick album isn't made, but I'm afraid I think that Kendrick album is going to be being made, guys. Wow, prepare for entertainment. Prepare, prepare for disappointments, I guys. I I wow. Prepare for disappointment. We haven't even heard it. Wow. Merchants, I have, I have my my sources. Merchant says, yes, yeah. If you're counting the youth FA Cup, then Barca fans have the right to count their women's I'm teams treble. Hat talk shameless. Yes, yeah. Have What's you up? seen the women's league table? Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's amazing, right. HH. I'm not gonna oh, lie. Let me just ask you this whole thing. This do is you, Barca, man. Do you, I can, will you allow Barca fans to count? Um, yes. No, I already counted. Yes. I already counted. Yes. I already counted as it is. You count every trophy. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. No, let me, I count it, man. Let me, let me show you. Let me show you. Bro, so you know. We're that we're nice, man. We're that nice. Give it HH, so basically, basically, so, Harry so, Kane has a trophy. So, so, so this counts. So oh, yes, yes, saying this counts. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I've better defensive H -H records than Chelsea. Chase, look at that goal oh, for one hundred. We can't be stopped. We average five goals a game, bro. Give us anybody. We're on top this of the world, sick. guys. This is sick. Do you know, like, there's something I want to say, but I won't say it. I, I, I relax easy. Well, but they're the best team Remember. in the world. Remember. I know, I know. I actually you know what to say. What's it called? Um, one of the Falcons, a Nigerian woman, actually plays for them. So, 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 shout That's out. What but, I'm but, 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 <laughs> Abdul, I don't like that laugh. Abdul, I don't, that was a very rude laugh. I don't like that laugh. All right. They probably beat the Nigerians, man, for being honest. Yeah, all right. Okay. Yeah, all right, thank no, you. We, they were. Junior <laughs> Aziz. Junior <laughs> Asuma up top, bro. What is he going to do against Abdul. You? Abdul, Abdul, for that rude laugh, because I know I, I know what that laugh meant. So that's a yellow for for that laugh. That, that's it, because I know that laugh. Meant. That was a You'll make of laugh. You'll make your bro. That, that's, that's the best of laugh. For that. <laughs> Sick man. Junior Aziz says, "Imagine needing Lampard of all people to fulfill HH's Arsenal narrative. The irony, man. Respect Lampard. You know what? If Lampard is the reason Arsenal don't get top four, I will change my tune on Lampard. I will." If if he actually delivers the dub that makes Arsenal feel top four, I will I will shout him out. Samasi says it's over for Bayern. They're not a big club anymore. Samasi, I'm going to save this dub because this dub is going to be needed for the next dub because we're going to have a real conversation. Wait, Your boy here, yeah. H H, too many tens behind you. That iconic seven. Well, what's what's it called? I've got an, an 11 behind me there. And then so for shouts to your boy Drogba with the iconic UCL 2012 jersey. And Are no, you ever going to not... get a Christian Ronaldo jersey? Um, Casey. Ch Chelsea still in the top four race. No, no, we're not. Chelsea are not in the top four race. Such a goofy ass. Chelsea, Chelsea are not in the top four race. So I, 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 don't know, I don't know what kind of crap you're saying. Um, so guys, um, Let's let's not let's not get to that real talk, man. But H is can Chelsea actually finish fifth? Is that no. possible? No, <laughs> no, it's not possible. It's not possible. no way. <laughs> no, no, what do you want the do. best of math? Where are you, buddy? Uh, no, it is not possible, happening. man. So, guys, uh, Lewandowski. Robert. Wait, now, Miguel, are you the, are you the Madrid fan, bro? Well, no, he's a Tottenham fan. He's a Tottenham. Oh shit, baby, because there's another Miguel uh, Madrid fan in the chat. I know, I know. That's the difficult. So obviously, this was obviously in relation to thingy. So Samasi, please don't self harm. Please don't self harm. We love you here and we appreciate it. Do not self harm. It's all for buying the night big club anymore. So guys, now Fab hasn't said anything. Fab hasn't said anything, but it's building. It is building. Now he did with... say something. He did say something. But yeah, he did tweeted not... about Lewandowski. But did he say that he has? decided to leave Bayern Munich. He's not come out and said that. It's Tappen Merchant, Tappen Merchant. I know, I know. But still, I, 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 I respect Tappen. At least, ironically, at least you can trust Tappen. Ironically. So, so my thing is, oh, Z-Man, stop that. <laughs> stop that. Um, news around the campfire 
is he will not sign a contract extension. Because I want to deal with this on two fronts. I want to look at the potential Barcelona front, and I want to look at the Bayern front, because the Bayern front is scary. That's why Samas is a bit worried, because you know that these guys, you know Haaland, he's now moved to Man City. <laughs> Because the notion was, okay, yeah, Lewandowski goes, Bayern poached the, the guy from Dortmund, Haaland is the next one. No, Haaland said, no, I'm going to Man City. Don't you dare call Todd B. Don't, don't call Todd B, bro. Don't call Todd B. Don't call who? Todd B, Todd B, Todd B. Todd B, baby. Todd B, man. Todd give, B. Give me the Dowski. Give me the Dowski. <laughs> the ski, man. The ski. The ski. <laughs> <laughs> the ski. The ski, baby. Um, look, here's my thing. Um, no, 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 no. Look, talk, 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 Todd B. Let's, you know, let, let's talk. This is the... Lewandowski at Barcelona. That could be a problem. H H and Dembele that could is be a problem. No, because question. if you no, because you see, if he goes to Barcelona, Real better get Mbappe. They better get Mbappe. You know, so, Dembele is top assist, bro. Imagine Dembele. Ooh, Wait, has he signed a contract extension yet? No, no, yeah, no. Oh, Tabi, he's coming to Chelsea, bro. Don't you worry, don't you worry. Don't you worry about that. Abdul Tad B, baby, Tad. So it's not, it's Tad B, Tad B, Zima, Lewandowski. Talk, delve into this, com this whole situation. How, how badly could this affect Bayern Munich? Him leaving Bayern, and do you believe Barca can get him with stolen blood money? You damn thieves! And if he does go to Barca. Do you still believe that he will ball even despite his age, or do you think there could be a Bundesliga tax within him and he will fail miserably? No. Um, to to address one of your questions, um, oh, I don't sure. think Chelsea is going to be going for Dembele. I think you guys are trying to create an English spine. That's why um, Maguire is being linked. According according um, you to guys, you, according you guys, to you, that's you guys that, that, that's a lie. That's Zeman, a don't English speak spine, about what man. you don't know about. Don't speak about your nation. Don't speak about your nation, man. Todd Zeman is poor your source. Zeman is poor your source. Chris Wood, Chris Wood. Chris Wood. <laughs> Chris Wood. <laughs> Zima, talk, talk about the ski. Talk, 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 talk about the ski. Talk about the ski, man. No, I'll, I'll say this, man. I, he would be a wonderful signing. He'd be a wonderful signing. Because we can't go in with Aubameyang that has the touch of Lukaku, to be honest with you. Um, every single time he touches the ball, it's a goal, which is a problem when he's outside the box and trying to control the ball. So, if anything, we need a striker that can actually... Not only necessarily, he doesn't necessarily have to be the main link up play, but just somebody that's clinical in front of goals. That's something we've been missing. Uh, for all the chances we create, you know, we're, we're one of the highest, uh, we, we, we create the most chances in our league. It's just we don't have any clinical finishers. Uh, you, when you're dealing with Ferran Torres and um, Aubameyang, you know, look, uh, hold on, hold on. you don't believe in Ferran Torres? I, th I thought I said Ferran Torres was the was the, was the goal. I thought you, I thought you, no, you, no, no, I never said that. I never okay, said that. Okay, I never said that. Right. I mean, he's, he's no Neymar project, but you know. He's <laughs> but I, I say this, man. I I I, th I think he would be a wonderful signing financially. It would make sense in terms of a three year contract. While Barcelona tries to get their finances right, um, I don't. Listen, man. I, I think I think he would be a wonderful addition. I just I'm, I'm skeptical about rumors and whatnot. I just I don't I don't tend to believe them. So, so, so okay, but let's say it's real. How excited would you be if Lewandowski was to go to Barca, keeping in mind his age and an apparent Bundesliga tax, which may really apply because he says what's up in the UCL. How excited would you be if Barca were able to get him? Bro, I'll be I'll, I'll be excited, man. I'll be I'll be over the moon. Wait, I'll be over and the also, moon. wait, where are you getting this money from? You're supposed to be freaking poor. No, uh, Frankie De Jong selling. Frankie You're clearly Young, investing into the women's team, yeah. as you can see. Selling yes. Frankie De Jong to yeah, Manchester They it's, just it's, sold Coutinho, bro. Yeah, Coutinho's gone. Griezmann is technically still out on loan, so the wages are down for him. And then you're looking at if De Jong ends up leaving, you need someone. You need to bring in someone, which is a whole different case of like how your team is going to function, but. <sighs> Again, man, I, th I think with all those in mind, if we end up accomplishing this, bro, that will be a wonderful signing. That will be a wonderful sign. That will be an amazing signing. That will that'll be a huge dub. But, uh, you know, Laporta, you know how he works in mysterious ways, HH. He keeps promising. <laughs> he keeps making these promises. He jinxes his own promises, bro. He always does that. First, it was, I'm going to renew Messi. Then it was... Then it was now it's the whole oh I'm gonna get Lua he's he's gonna come in he's gonna come into Barcelona so there's always that there's always politics behind the there's there's always the politics 
damn man. There's always politics in each signing, but I think he would he'd be a wonderful sign. He's someone we need. And to be honest with you, um, late church, I read one of your tweets. You Uh-oh. said, you said, you said, imagine, uh, you said imagine a front three of uh, Obamiang, uh, Lua, and uh, Us. Mm. I don't know. I don't know if you know this, but Obamiang is not a, he's not a winger. He's a striker. Oh, no, so no, he but, can't play no, no, but remember, bro, at, he at, at, he at, at Dortmund, he played wide right. Bro, he can't. Dortmund. He can't. This guy, like, I'm sorry, this guy's ability to control dribble pass players without if he if he's only using his pace, that's a problem within itself. So oh, 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 okay, this so, guy's okay, a wait, 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 okay. striker. So what do you say? Uh, uh, uh-huh, that's where I was going to go. So, so if Levinasi comes, you're saying that he holds the bench. Yeah, he holds the bench. At our very best, everything goes well. No injuries involved. Which there will be, Fati, the Us if he resigns and Lua, that that, that would I, I think the, the I Us think, isn't resigning, bro. Yeah, if if he Chelsea signs, links obviously, are, Chelsea obviously. links are, are strong. Chelsea, man, you guys aren't linked to anybody. Can I tell you guys something? But I I think that that would be the ideal. But again, man, this transfer just seems too common because they have to find a replacement. And where are they mm. going to get the replacement for from? I mean, wait, if they get wait, Timo wait, Werner. Wait, wait, bro, wait, wait, who? But, Bro, who Zeman. are they going to get? Zeman. They have no forwards. Zeman. You, you, just, you, you, you said the golden word. That Werner has worked with Nagelsmann. He has, That's yeah. who they'll get. No, but it does And we're going to work on that deal. Zeman, it makes sense, you psychopath. Nagelsmann knows how to get the best out of Werner. They need a replacement, and, and Nagelsmann can get the best out of Werner to help ban. That is the best case scenario for ban because we'll, I'm going to come to Kwa afterwards because remember, you need a striker that works for the manager's system, and Werner works for Nagelsmann's system. So, Zeman, can you please not um, jinx this thing no, so we that, can get rid of this piece of trash also, Werner once in a row? But that also doesn't work for Bayern because usually a, a player like Timo Werner needs another striker, you know, are, they'll find one, position. they'll find one, they'll find well, one. Well, they'll he'll, have he'll to buy two players in order to fit, to accommodate. They'll, fill, they'll figure it out. I don't know. I, I don't know. Zeman, Bayern, thank you. Basically, Zeman, thank you. So, Bayern... It's what it is. You're going to sell Lewandowski. You're going to take Werner off of us. We're going to ask for 75 mil for your, for your boy. And we're going to now use that money to try and help fund a Dybala and um, Labille sweepstake. And possibly get a little bit of a, 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 a so, No, 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 no. Let me come to Cole because Cole is a, is a bomber's fake yeah, band yeah, fan. Yeah, yeah. Cole, you said Thank something you to me that was very you. shocking. Cole, Cole, I, did, Cole, I didn't say, okay. You said that you are happy <laughs> and you're celebrating Lewandowski leaving Bayern. Can you please explain that disgustingly rude, trash ass, disrespectful comment <laughs> as a Bayern fan? I didn't, quite, I didn't crack a joke. I don't know why you're laughing. <laughs> no, no, I, I just find you humorous. Um, but uh, <laughs> anyway, wait, wait, why is this guy like? I didn't crack. A, no, 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 no. Tell me why you're being disrespectful, saying that you're happy that that bombers Lewandowski. As you told me, you you damn me and said that bombers loser Lewandowski, mm-hmm. who is a stats partner, is leaving my my club. I'm gonna pop bottles. Mm-hmm. Explain that crap to me. Oh yeah, H I'm popping bottles, bro. Because look, I mean, again, and I know how big of a player he is. I'm not saying he's not a big player. But I'm I'm more thinking about it in terms of how many players in our squad right now. I could only name about like maybe a few that fits into Nagelsmann's system. Not too many, HH. The majority of the bench don't even fit Nagelsmann's system. The the um first team players, you could maybe say maybe seven or eight, you see? And for me personally, if I had a choice, if let's say to keep one player, Janabri or Lewandowski, HH, I'm going for Janabri. Janabri is more is more effective. He's much more of a big big time player than Lewandowski. I know Lewandowski is good. I, don't get me wrong, but I just feel like so. Okay, no, okay. Whether you like or not, you do have to re- replace him. What's the replacement? So HH, um. There's so many young strikers out there. You got Jonathan Davids from Lille, who I think would be perfect for Nagelsmann's system in terms of his link-up play, in terms of, like, you know I'm trying to say? like How are you, how, how are you going to replace all those goals that Lewandowski has given Bayern? How? No, that's what I'm saying. HH, it, we're, we're going to be less predictable without Lewandowski. You get what I'm trying to say? 
I don't, I don't get what you're trying, trying to say. How are you going to replace mm-hmm. the goals that Lebanon's got? I say that the goals will now be spread out through through the entire team. Can it you will assure be spread me of that? Out. Yes, it will be spread out, and I think that's very good, HH, because then you're very unpredictable, bro. HH, I'm so, I'm so sorry to say against Villarreal, HH, too predictable. We're well, way too predictable. Didn't Lebanon score, 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 score the only goal in that game? Yes, the guy that you're calling a bomb. No, no, Lewandowski scored the only goal in that game, right? But we all have to understand, too, that, like, literally, that game itself, uh, is, oh, <laughs> okay, yeah, um, <laughs> but for me personally, like, we have to understand that game, we were just spamming crosses inside the box, HH, and Lewandowski, the thing about Lewandowski is he has to always drop into the midfield to try to, um, you know, link up, play with other um, attackers. And it's just not working out. He's more of like a goal poacher. And I think I understand what Z-Man is saying because Barcelona need that type of clinical striker who doesn't really have to do that kind of link up play type stuff. So, so, so basically, so you think, so you, you believe that he will 100% be a success at, at, um, at your if- boys? If you're if you're not gonna let him do too much like drop into the midfield, having to link up play with the other players and so forth, he will be a huge success. H H he's not made to be like um a false nine. He really isn't. He's a he's a goal poacher, H H. Even with Flick, we saw it with Jurgen Klopp in Dortmund. Same thing. He's he's a goal poacher, you know. He's not he's not that type of guy. That you, he can link up, play with other guys. He's wait, just wait, not. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Lewandowski has no link up play. Yeah, that's what you're trying to tell me. Lewandowski. No, no, I'm not, I'm not saying. Up. I'm not saying that he has no link up play, but I'm saying in terms of Nagelsmann's system itself, he's been bro. The past couple of games, he's ghosted HH. Aside from aside from that very real game, I, I have. He's he's been invisible HH. Let's be honest. I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him. Oh, I'm not on drugs. <laughs> Anyways, HH. Um, but what I will also say too is, HH. If we sell him, we're gonna get 40 million to 35 million, meaning that we can solve our midfield problem and our defensive problem if we get that 40 to 35 million. So then you already have two problems solved, two of the main problems in our team solved. Instead of having to get a replacement, because we don't really need a replacement, HH. We just need oh, a fair no, dose. No, no. Don't know, call. Huh? You, you know, you're getting cooked by this by the streets, by, by, by the way, for your ball knowledge. Call, you can't open your mouth and tell me that mm. you don't need a replacement for Lewandowski. Is that way you're trying to tell me that Ban do not need the replacements if Lewandowski leaves? Is that way you're trying to sell? Is that way you're trying to sell me? HH, HH. Before before Lewandowski came, HH. Who was our striker? Claudio Pizarro, Mario Gomez, who you uh, have freaking mostly... Robin and, and freaking ri- Ribery, exactly, and exactly, and, and, no, and don't no no no, and don't you then tell me that Janabri and Coman are in the same stratosphere as Robin and Ribery? Don't you? Oh dare no no, they're not. Around. They're not in the same. No no, that's not what I'm saying. They're not in the same stratosphere as um, okay. Robin and Ribery. But what I'm saying is, you can spread it out. You can be less predictable by spreading out the goals. That's what I'm saying. You get what I'm trying to say? No, 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 Cole. No, no, no. I don't get what you're trying to say. <laughs> so you. when Lewandowski leaves and so forth, you say you're going to spread the goals out. With who? Because mm-hmm. I just told you that if you mm-hmm. don't replace him and he's saying that you're going to keep the same players and not actually bring any new players in, Shinabri and Coman can't do what Ribri and freaking M. Robin did. Are you like I like like are you are you sniffing pure white co- co- cocaine? Of course, oh, no, you need no, to replace no, no. Lewandowski. The oh heck? yeah, of course, of course, we need to replace. That's what I'm saying. So, so, so who, you, so who, you, who are you going to replace him with? For me, John is is Jonathan, Jonathan David. He's a very yeah. I I like him. H H. His chemistry with Davies. Continue. H H. There, there's something about football. You have to understand football. You've been, the, the you've been very, is, very disrespectful, man. And towards Lewandowski. To Lewandowski? Ex- no, he's a great player. H- H- he's a great player, but he no, just doesn't No, 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 no. Don't give me that crap. You just, said, you just said that you would replace Lewandowski with Jonathan David. That's what you The reason said. why I'm saying that is because he, like, I need, I need a player also who has pace and power. And also, I need a player who is good with the link-up plays. And with um, Dave, Jonathan Davis, right, 
he fits the way Nagelsmann wants a striker to play. I've actually seen his highlight. I've seen him. You get what I'm trying to say? Lewandowski um, is... Right, Lev- oh, oh, okay, finish your points and let me come to Abdul. Le- okay, um, HH. Le- the reason why Lewandowski was so successful in 2012-13 to let Dortmund go to the Champions League final was because Klopp utilized him in the right way. You get what I'm trying to say? The same thing with 2020 when Hansi Flick was there. Hansi Flick utilized Lewandowski in the right way. Nagelsmann doesn't know how to utilize him in the right way. It's clear. I, against Stuttgart, bro, I, I, he didn't even touch the ball, HH. He didn't okay. even touch the ball. That's how sad it was. Abdul, talk to me, man. Is 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 core high on drugs or is he speaking sense? He is speaking some sense in the fact that he clearly doesn't suit the way Bagelsman wants to play. Um, I will Bagelsman. say though, like, yeah, they, they're calling him Bagelsman. Now. Okay, ba- Bagelsman right. is some salmon. Oh, and oh, okay, and, all right. And, all right. And, 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 I actually had an amazing salmon bagel to, to today, by the way. Quality. But continue. Yeah, that's a crazy coincidence, actually. I, I know. That's a crazy. It was, it was actually it was damn good, but continue. Yeah, yeah. But uh, apparently, like, sources, they're saying that one of the big reasons why Levin, Lewandowski, he wants to leave because he has realized that what no matter what he does in the Bundesliga, he is never going to give him a ballon d'or. He's realized this and his, his camp realized that if he's done what he did in La Liga, the Premier League, he would have had the Ballon d'Or by now. So he is leaving for many reasons. One of them being that if he can pull up like 30 Gs in La Liga, bro, 30, 35 Gs, that might even give him a Ballon d'Or, bro. You feel me? Don't, don't think he's missed his Ballon d'Or boat. <laughs> Or you still no, think that it can happen? Because I, I think he, he might have missed his Ballon d'Or boat. I think he might have, but HH, you got to realize as well, like for Lewandowski, he's been in Bayern for so long now. I think he, he personally wants something new. And I feel like... And he's uh, been accused he, of being a stats partner, so... Exactly, bro, exactly. And I think Barcelona, bro, it's a very good option for him because, you know, a lot of players, they want to play for Madrid and Barcelona. And I think... The second best option from Madrid right now, it is Barcelona, like to be fair, if you want to play for one of the big dogs because, uh, what's it called? United, they have the geriatric, so he can't go there and they're not in the Champions League anyway, you feel me? So for me, I think, honestly, it's a, it would be a good deal for both parties because for Bayern, I think if they keep him for one more year, and then lose him for free next year. I, I think it will do more dam. It would do more harm than good because he's clearly exactly. expressed that he's. Um, uh, he's clearly expressed that he's not. He doesn't want to be there. He wants to go. Exactly. And exactly. I feel like for, for for Lewandowski, I think he he has done enough for the club for them to like pay respect to what he wants now. Oh, no, no, but but, but, but see, Abdul, I have no issue with them partnering with Lewandowski. That's fine. But you have to have a real replacement. Like Lewandowski going and oh, our team is good and everything. I'm like, huh? Because but I'm not it's, hearing it's, of any no because, because apart from like the Masrui kid from um, Ajax, I've mm-hmm. not heard of another attacking replacement. Say, so, okay, this is now how we're going to now roll differently Be- on the Lewandowski. We're we, bringing this inside we, forward. We're bringing this other inside forward. We're bringing this this no no They're saying they don't want us. They're not going to sell him until they find a, a proper replacement. But the problem is right now, like let's be honest, the, there is a sort short there's a shortage of uh, like good number nines in the market right Thank now. You. This Thank you. Thank you. This is why I'm, this is why I'm saying like Lewandowski to Barca would be really good for Barca because bro, like he's a cheap and ve- he, like he wouldn't be that expensive, and bro mm. he would give you like a good two three years mm. of like high quality uh, like performances. Whilst Barca, they fix their economic situation, so I think he would be perfect fit for Barca. But for Bayern, honestly, I don't know what's happening to Bayern because it's a bigger issue than just the striker, bro. Like I'm seeing, like they're, they're linked to some random players. Like how how's your? Like, I thought Bayern they were like really well run club. Like I feel like. Well, no, 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 no. I mean, Abdul, one thing I've just read about Bayern is that they will never ever break their wage structure. 
So they are, they are yeah. always very, very strict. When are going to do this crazy, massive cr contracts that United are going to do, like giving a guy like 300,000, 250, no, that's them. So because they are very strict with the weight structure and they're not going to go crazy, there are only so many kind of players you can go out and get. So that's why they are, you now have to really rely on really, really good scouting. And, and actually, and so let's forth. be so, honest, uh, Ch Chelsea would be a good move for him as well, bro. Because... For, for Lewandowski. Yeah, because bro, HH, the Prem is such an attractive choice nowadays. The Prem is such so appealing, bro. Nah, and it's it's gonna be his legacy I'll because be, because he, be if he comes in <laughs> and drops, of course, shut up. If he comes in and drops like twenty five or thirty Gs, that's Lewandowski respect goes way up. It goes Can way I up. ask you a question, bro? Real quick, I just saw a tweet from Barca Center, and this is Xavi had called Morata again. What is that about? I think uh, Morata is going to be like the backup option if they fail to get Lewandowski. And that's when Morata? I will start watching football, bro. I, I will actually be <laughs> watching football. Oh, <laughs> okay, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Look yes. what you use and yes, Morata. Yes, it's Lewandowski. Yo, yo, HH, you know, I was thinking, I, I was thinking, guys, you know, I was really thinking about this. This is one of the, if Lewandowski go to Barcelona, it will be one of the best things to happen to football. It will be one of the best things to happen to La Liga. And it will be the one of the best things to have to El Clasico. Because I am so sick and tired of this hypothetical debate we continue to have again about Karim Benzema and Lewandowski. I want Lewandowski at Barcelona. Settle it at El Clasico. Okay, <laughs> Gee, you think you're the best, right? You look Dutch, you think you're the best, right? You think you're not getting credit. Come to Barcelona. Say what's up. Say what's up at the now at the cap now. At this, at Santiago Bernabeu, come on, bro. Put your yes, put yeah, your... yes, yeah, is a cocaine. I don't care what it says. I'm <laughs> telling no, you, bro. Nobody will convince me otherwise that yes, yeah, is not a drug user, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's haram, bro. I can't, bro. And it's, <laughs> um, HH, I I'm telling you guys, love cocaine, man. This is Z man's mutual way. Uh, all I'm saying is HH, I desperately, desperately want. Him to go to Barcelona. HH, hey, just imagine, bro, Benzema versus Lewandowski. Like all this hypothetical, all this nonsense. Oh, who's the best? HH, hey, it will be settled. It will be abs absolutely settled if Lewandowski is really a man. If you are a man, if you have cojones, come to Barcelona. Say what's up. Say what's come to Barcelona. By a minute, it's finito, it's done. Finish. The chapter is over. You, you actually wait. Okay, that's it. Let me ask you this. Let me, let me, let me, let me you know, look, look high into the universe. Do you think Lewandowski is pushing for this Barca move mainly because he wants to say what's up to Benzema in La, La, La Liga? Do you think? Do you think Lewandowski is on Twitter and he hates the that's whole Farmers League? He hates the the whole oh. Um, I don't get respect. I'm a stats partner. It's a one team league. Let me go to Benzema's house and let me pimp him in his own house. Now what? 100%. Do you think this is question? part of the reason? Let me, let me answer that question. Hey, no, uh, okay, Abdul, you go. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Actually, no, I was just going to make the point like, like, bro, if the Bundesliga, they lose Haaland and Lewandowski in the same summer, like that league, I, I, I think they will become sick. I become, they become sick, in my opinion. Abdul, whoa, 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 hold up, 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 hold you got to raise that tax up 10%. Every, divi every divisi, bro. No, <laughs> Abdul, Abdul. Oh, Abdul, I'm gonna Abdul, I'm going to give you a second year. Abdul, I'm going to give you a second year. Yes, it's all good. Yes, it's all good. Yes, it's all good. The answer to your question, HH, the, I 110% believe it burned them to the core when they gave the volume. Bro. <laughs> 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 Abdul, I'm going <laughs> no, nah, John, nah, nice. that, that's, cool. that's cool. <laughs> no, no, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Yes, it continue. Yes, continue. No, continue. I, I'm telling you that when they gave him that makeshift award instead of the Ballon d'Or, that burned him to the core. HG. Like, because the guy's saying, bro, I, I broke, I broke the. Uh, Goal scoring uh, record. I broke Gomez's record. I am that dude. 
I should have won it the round of year before. What? Oh. I won the round of the year before. I won the. Uh, I mean, I should have won the round of the year before. There was a pandemic. It is with mm. this. But now I did. I had an amazing season. I broke Gilmore's record, and they gave me an a, a ugly trophy that looks is a wheel. What? What is it? I don't even know what it is. I, instead of giving it the Ballon d'Or, I just that that hurt. A hundred percent hurt. And I feel like at that moment he realized, bro, I had to get out of this place, man. It was, like, it I, was a pizza cutter. It was a pizza cutter. Pizza cutter. And change, come on, man. Like, no, no, no I, you know that that was the moment. The moment that I left, I was really serious. Like, okay, yeah, this this thing has been finished. Well. Yes, yeah. Deal with your home say, 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 situation. There, deal, deal with uh, your baby mama. Anthony, talk to me. No, Miguel, H, H, I'm yes, going. I'm going to go, guys. I'm going. Go. Right, peace, 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 Miguel, talk to me. Let 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 me dance, man. The 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 ski, the ski. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, when it comes to somebody like Lewandowski, right? I mean, it's been proven now that. Just athletes in general, you know, whenever it comes to football, NBA, NFL, like the older you get now, I mean, it's it's not being 30 now is not the same as being 30 like 10 years ago, like 15 years ago. You know, if you see Lewandowski, the guy clearly keeps in shape, you know what I mean? Like, so when it comes to him going to Barcelona, I mean, fitness is not going to be a question. Really, it's just a question of motivation now, because like I said, like if he's underperforming now, I mean, they've already won the Bundesliga. What does he have to play for? If, mm. if he's underperforming, it doesn't really hold any stake, you know, so I think it's about I think it's just a new challenge because how long has he been at Bayern now for like what? A damn years? long time. It's like 10 years. I think, uh, I, think he, I think he moved in, in 13, 14. For like 10 years. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. How long has it been at Bayern? I think. Oh, you mean yeah. Bundesliga or, or at Bayern? A Bayern specifically. I think he moved in 13, 14, so that's just under 10 years, I believe. I think he moved in nine 13, years, 13. Yeah. 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 So he does that or 14, 15. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, yeah, I think he just needs a new challenge, man, really. I mean, overall, it'll be good for football, though, because, <laughs> you know, if he goes to Barcelona, yeah, I can see Yasir's point, you know, uh, him going up against Barcelona, those, you know, that's a good headline, you know. But at the end of the day, man. Okay. Okay, guys, let's let's take some Dubai's man. Wait, Miguel, who do you think is better, Harry Kane or? It's, it's, um, they said um the Bayern sporting director uh, future is also uncertain, so he might leave the club. Um, wait, Brazil. wait, wait, is that Salihamidzic? Yeah, Salihamidzic. Yeah, he might leave the club um anytime this oh, wow. around the wow. summer. So yeah, yeah. Um, wait, hold up. Let let me let me look at some dubs. From your boy Alex B, Levante did a guard of honor, then held. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. This God of Honor, man. You see, you gotta be athletic, but you just see, <laughs> Atletico did it right, man. No <laughs> God know, of I'm, Honor would have won. Imagine, imagine clapping Alex to hold six. <laughs> imagine Wait. clapping to hold six, Alex man. Abdul, we're gonna ask you something. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. If I wanna, you see, this is see, this bro, is the crap I don't like. Bro, no, 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 the worst thing, the worst thing, HH, is that, the worst thing, HH, is, is, is that the manager was talking about the God of Honor, he's like, yeah, of course we're going to give it to them, they're the best team in the world, we're not like Averico Madrid, <laughs> hold six, hold up, bro, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold this guy's let's, trash, let's just verify this, this, this is crap right now, it's like, a guy, it's like a guy getting friends on by yeah, 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 getting the box, just... well, that guy got friends on, bro, <laughs> god damn, it's it's like taking her out on a dinner date and not getting any box wait, after the wait, date. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, okay, okay. Do they? Okay, is it head to head? In yeah, it's head to head, head to head. They got so... head. They got worse head to head. Oh, <laughs> these guys are gone, bro. Bro, they were also celebrating going so, to second division, man. So, so, so <laughs> you did a god of honor? No. no, no. You talked about a god of honor before. You did a god of honor. And then you got Lara Crofted and test tubed, and then and that led to your relegation. Thanks for the free dinner date, babe. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's 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 that's, that's wow. a mess. Friends, man. Oh, man. This um, is <laughs> Detroit Rock City, ban fans, please calm down. Better players have left us, but this is different because when Robin and um, Ribri left. You had Goats, uh, Muller was still at his peak, and then you had Levinowski coming in. Now, look, he, my thing is it, that, you know, but, but, but here's the thing to do, notice. it's not the end of the world of Levinowski leaving Bayern. No, it's not. Bayern is still a, a very good team, but you need a, 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 a replacement. 
if Lewandowski leaves and Bayern don't get a replacement, it's not the end of the world. They should still win the Bundesliga, but I don't know how you win the, the UCL, bro. If you don't get a replacement. It, it, what about Lam? What about Lam when he left? I, I mean, for, for me personally, do we ever think we're going to get another replacement for Lam when he left? We got Lam is, no, 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 but my thing is, yes, Lam was important, but at the end of the day, the reality is that goals win games. And when a guy mm -hmm. gives you those high amounts of goals, you need mm -hmm. to find a way to replace them. Now, if you can assure me, assure me those goals will be spread out, all cool. But score, I don't know whether you can 110% assure me that mm. those goals will be catered for throughout the entirety of the but team. But Roma, Real Madrid sold Ronaldo, and they, they literally said it. Said so, it goes, Cole, which, who, is, mm -hmm. who is of Benzema's level in Bayern Munich? Oh, who is of Benzema's level? Level at Bayern Munich. Oh, yeah, that one yeah, is... is no, 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 Lewandowski. Lewandowski by, by far. That's a Benzema's level. And he's leaving. So that's the problem. I understand. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Rod Rodrigo Rora, thank you for the dub. Manny's agent is in talks with Bayern. Tic tac, tic tac. I, I think he signs a deal. Now, if Manny leaves, sweet. You see, now, now, call. That's what we're talking. If Bayern get Manny, all right. All right. It is, that's rumors. It is, that's rumors. It came... I'm just saying... No, no. I'm just saying mm -hmm. hypothetical. Again, I don't believe this. Mm -hmm. I think Mane is going to stay at Liverpool. But just yeah. hypothetical. But, but if that is the, the replacement, okay, let's they're only No, but, but Mane I, isn't like a replacement for Lewandowski. Yeah. I think Mane, Mane is a replacement for Gnabry if he leaves. I no, 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 agree. No, no, no. The Bob said it's about restructuring. Because again, let's say Gnabry mm -hmm. stays, Mane stays, Kuman stays, and so forth. Mane can play striker. Gennabri can play striker and so forth. So you can restructure mm -hmm. the way your, 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 your team operates if you're bringing Mane into the team and no one else leaves. It is, so, it is. so, so, so I understand that somebody needs to be coming in and, 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 and so forth. And then that's now you now have to now look at your formation in a more th three three dimensional way of like, okay, do we maybe we don't play with a clear outside striker? Maybe we play with a false nine and so forth. Um, it is. Salah is more of a possibility. Salah is more yeah, of a possibility. Yeah. Yeah. Your boy Link says, Us incoming, the sick finally getting some help. Better believe it, man. I, 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 can't, I can't believe the UK is still believing the sick. And yes, Us is going to come soon. Reunite with your boy, the Took. Casey, they can get the B Tech um, Lewandowski from. <laughs> Elsie, you're 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 a funny guy, man. You're a real <laughs> funny guy, man. Um, ZH in says preach, Benzema, Vini, Rodrigo, Kama, Modric, Valverde. Um, look, hashtag May twenty eighth. That's what I'm Did saying. You see hashtag May twenty eighth. The drip, she got like a hat trick of assist sister day, bro. We'll be rolling. We'll relax. We'll get there. 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 Um, D Sanders, man, welcome. Just joining on for the full Says search over. Lewandowski, you need me on this panel instead of these FIFA Ultimate Team Merchants fans. I'm not no FIFA Ultimate Team Merchant, my, my friend. Hey, I'm look, just speaking facts. Saying, man. Wing seeing... says, Todd should show his ambition. Get Us and Lewandowski. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, get, 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 get. <laughs> they're, doing, they're doing data analytics, so they're not... Yeah, no, Zima, I'm relax. Like Tad, Tad B is that dude. I spoke to him last time. Tad B is that dude, man. Namdi Nwajide says, Venna should go to Bayern. It makes sense as well. Why not bring Zad in as well? Zad's coming home, baby. Relax, relax. relax. Yeah, no, 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 no. Zad is, Zad is coming home like Drake. Zad is coming home like you Drake. See that? Have you yes. seen him recently? Have you seen him recently? Who? Hazard. Have you seen him recently? Yeah, no, no. He's back in, in training. No, he, in that, training. That, that dude, he looked... Okay, look, look, look. He... Remember He's, back no, in the 2014-15 no, no, no. season? Know, Miguel, that's, that's, the Real Madrid trainer has, has, has sailed. The only saving for Hazard is back home at Chelsea. That oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Goes. I'm just saying, have you seen him in shape? Like, this dude is in shape now. Yeah, but he got really? he got assists of the season, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, Hold up. Um, <laughs> your boy <laughs> says that Yassier is Egal 2.0 sometimes. No, no, no. Yass, Yassier is a whole... He's like a girl, maybe 5.0. The guy. So many yes, soliloquies. It's crazy, man. So many yes, soliloquies. Yes, the drug dealer man. came to his house. To yeah, yeah. So, so hold up. So, d -San, thank you for being a YouTube member. Welcome to the membership club. When's that membership club? Baby, I'll see you on Monday night. Harty Momo. Kendrick album dropping tomorrow. I'm Gucci. 
I can't wait, man. It's going to be hey, me. Church, what, fe- it's what, features, be me. what features do you think he's going to have? I don't on think it's going to have any features. Himself. I don't think it's going to have any features on it. But Bro, nah. this, this is fine. This, <laughs> no, no, no. Let me give you a quick, oh, a quick is... prediction. Again, hold on. This is a football stream, but, but a very quick prediction. Quick prediction. It's going to be cool, but people will try and call it a masterpiece. And people will um, refuse to accept that it's all right but not as good as what it was hyped up to be. Because there are a lot of guys who will just call anything that Kendrick does is amazing. That's Hat 5. Amazing video. Super video. Oh, yeah. That song ain't great. That song ain't great. So you're basically saying a Drake album? Um, <laughs> next, 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 next. Um, guys, um, Abdul, is De Jong going to move to Man United? Hopefully, man. Hopefully, honestly, this guy he. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no! Sorry, 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 very quickly, because I got attacked. I got attacked, so I need some um, clarity here. I said that De Jong, the player we saw for Ajax with that outstanding eighteen nineteen UCL season, he has underwhelmed for Barcelona and ultimately been a failure. And people say that's cap, and I'm lying and talking crap. To that, you say what? You were half right. And half wrong. Okay. He has underwhelmed, but you can't call him a failure. I like to be extra, so. Yeah, but uh, for De Young, bro, the one I saw your video on, I think, um, and you called him a system merchant. Yes. And it's it's not offensive to be a system merchant. Bro. Thank Abdul. Can you please <laughs> tell these people it is not a bad. Maybe you need to use a different word. It is not a bad thing to be a sister merchant. Abdul, all that matters is that you're, 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 you're I, amazing. I think, I think being called a merchant in itself is like, it makes it like a negative. Oh, I like, know. You, but, like, but, you, but what's what's other like, word? Do you, I, I know I get it. I, because merchant yeah, because has a I bad connotation. Like a, if I call you like a bold merchant, this doesn't sound good. You feel me? Yeah, continue. No, nah, but so... Um, He's a system merchant, HH, yeah. and 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 not just him. The whole that the whole IX team, they're all system merchants. None of them has have really went on to succeed away from the system to the same level as IX. I'm not saying they've been yeah. total trash, but for how good they were at IX and how highly rated they were at IX, they've not been as good. Because guys say, "Oh, but you don't watch Delict at Juventus." I don't care. How we were talking about Delict for IX ain't how he's been talked about now. How we're talking about Frank De Jong for IX. Isn't how he's been talked about now for for Barca. That's just facts. A hundred percent, bro. And it's not just that. Like, um, I, I went on Terry's stream earlier today, actually, mm. and I gave him the insight. I gave him the insight because there's a lot of delusion on that channel. So basically, wh- what it is with the young, he 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 only knows how to, <laughs> he only knows how to operate. He only knows how to operate in a double pivot, bro. And the problem the young has is. When he plays for like HG, you saw him in the Euros, bro. He was bowling. He was bowling for mm. Holland. He bowls because they play a double pivot in Barcelona, bro. Like Barcelona are never gonna play a double pivot because it's not in the philosophy. Mm. It's always single single pivot, and it's gonna be Busquets, and until yeah. somebody replaces Busquets. So and 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 the young he can't play in a single pivot. He's not good enough for it because defensively he's not good enough. He's a liability defensively. So De Jong, he will never succeed at Barca. HH. He will never succeed at Barca because Barca are never playing a double pivot. And the reason why he succeeded under Ten Hag is because Ten Hag, he's a double pivot merchant. He played, even after De Jong left, he still plays a double pivot. Now he plays a Gravenberg and Fernandes mm. in a double pivot at Ajax. So for De Jong, honestly, HH, the best thing he can do is leave. And I know, like Barca fans, and I, I, I'm sure I, I'm not reading the chat right now, but I'm sure there's like Barca fans that are the young sexuals. I call them the young sexuals. Uh, the young sexuals are like uh, Frankie romantics, romantic. I, I can't say that word. Romanticists. Yeah, romanticists uh, in the chat, bro. I'm telling you, like this guy, he has been underwhelming, and he's never gonna work. And the best thing you can do. Is get rid of him at a high price, bro. It's the best thing. And and for the young as well, it's the best thing for him as well. Because, bro, every summer, the media are going to link him away. He's going to be unhappy. He's, he's become a scapegoat. Every time there's a bad performance, he's the first one who's getting picked on. 
So mm. for, for everyone's sake, for his own sake, he should leave the club because, bro, he you've been underwhelming. You know this guy like HH, I'm not about throwing people under the bus, but one of the first things he said when he joined Barca was, I'm looking forward to winning my first La Classico. And he went on to lose his five, first five El Classico to HH. Damn. You feel me, bro? And he even said, I want to win five, five nil. And he went on to lose five in a row. Like, you know, he just recently won his first one like three years later. So for the young bro, like it hasn't worked out. It's just sometimes people think that if it don't work out, that means you flopped and you're a shit player. But that's not, it's not necessarily the case, bro. Because like, he, like, like, like Ray Kelme flopped at Barcelona. Does that mean yeah, that he's a crap player? It, it is just what it is. There's some places where it just doesn't work out for you. Like, this is still a good player. And maybe the way I went about the video was harsh, but I am just what I am. He needs daddy. And daddy is ten hard. at the wrong time, AJ. He joined Barca at the wrong time as well. Like, he... And, and you know, AJ, you know, it's funny. Like, people, they they forget that, you know, the young he, Ding Dong, he was in the 8-2. You know that? He played the whole game. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. He was there. People, they don't like to talk about it, HH. They zip, zip. They don't mention it, but I mention it because I don't care. But for the young bro, please, please leave, bro. Please, for everybody's sake, leave. Let's get some some moolah, some cash, some cash, some cash, and let's get Dowski. Let's get Dowski. Uh, Zima, talk to me. Zima, talk to me. You know, one of the things about Young is that he's he's a really good player. He's a highly technical player. But the problem is he's over-reliant on his ability to progress the ball by carrying it more so than his, you know, I feel like this guy, sometimes he chooses his short passes instead of switching. That's another thing about him. I don't think he's he's, he's great when it comes to that aspect and controlling it. And you can see how much wait, wait, he wait, is. You mean those, you mean those like long switch passes? Yeah, yeah. So yeah he's, I don't, uh, th those aren't his strength. Like His strength is I will carry the ball from deep progress it all the way up to the forwards or, you know, making a last ditch run. Those have, those seem to be his, 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 his best traits in him. Um, and this no, whole no, thing. No, 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 but I think when people saw him, Fox, I think they thought, that, oh, this guy can be like Javi in terms of great decision making, as in he's always going to pick the right pass and so forth. But I think that's, Javi just does it at a level that I don't think any, we've no, seen any no, midfielder no, do it. He's, so. He's, he's, He's nothing like Javi. He's nothing like Javi. No, no, to no. say that he's, but no, what, he's a totally okay, okay, different what player. What else could he, he have? Been? Because he ain't in Iniesta. No, because me, Iniesta is, he, is he was a, supposed to be a Busquets. No, no, no. no, no he's a not a Busquets. No, for my opinion. Who is he closest to? I was supposed to. Hold on. Who is he closest to? Busquets, Javi, or Iniesta? If you had to pick one. Who is he closest to? Jorginho, bro. Jorginho. Because my problem with De Jong is the fact that this guy's clearly his, his best trait is carrying the ball. That's what he's really good at. He's really good at those th th those type of movements. But the problem is he's not necessarily that great at distributing the ball. He's not that type of player or he'll, or he'll, or he'll sit deep because he doesn't have the defensive attributes associated with it. He's not really that good at reading the game defensively. And offensively, I don't think he's that creative. Offensively, I don't think this guy has the creative spark in terms of consistently giving you those type of passes or being able to bring players to the final third and, and being that decisive player in terms of just being just creating assists. I don't mm. think those are his strengths. His, his strengths are if the ball's there, I will make a, I will I will make a run to the box or I will progress the play by carrying it for you all the way to that position. Because you even look at Eric Ten Hag under like under Eric Ten Hag in 2019, you look at it and this guy wasn't necessarily the main player in terms of creativity. What he was was a guy who connected the midfield to the defense to the offense. So he was just like the, the, this guy was known as a, a player that connects all three, but he's not necessarily the type of guy that would control a midfield. One thing he's good at is possession. He he can't he can't hold possession, but the problem is this guy isn't quick enough, and you can tell that sometimes. Even though I think that Xavi wants De Jong to stay, I know that this is probably a financial reason behind it. But even with that, um, Xavi gets Xavi gets almost kind of irritated when players don't understand the positional play. Mm. Like you know, get the ball, move into space. Get the ball, move into space. The problem with De Jong is sometimes he doesn't do it quickly, and he's not in, in, and he's not moving the ball at a quick pace. So, so, so okay, so 
if United is the move, do you think that he walks for United under Ten Hag? So if let's say you were advising Frankie, he say no, push for this move to Man United, even though that you're not you you won't have any chance of football next season. The problem with United is, for me, it's like the amount of backing he's going to get. And I could already see the fans putting unrealistic expectations on him. I seen some fans declare him a CDM. That makes no sense. This guy's not a CDM. He's a double pivot, and he's and, he, and he's more the adventurous pivot at that. So if you bring the right tools around him, which is you know a, a holding midfielder that can hold that can hold it down defensively, that has more defensive attributes than him, if you can bring him. Uh, an attacking midfielder that's more adventurous and creative. Zuma, can't this be sounds that a lot like the Pogba situation. Bro. Yeah, that's, that's that's exactly my point. Even Pogba, I would also call him system a system player. That's not to say that Pogba is a bad player. It's to, it's to say that he needs certain things around him in order you want to see the best of him. The mm. good thing is I you agree. have Tin Hag. The the good thing is you have Tin Hag, a, a manager who understands him as a player who knows what he is and knows and understands what he brings to the team. That's why he's that, that's why and that's why Ten Hag really wants a marquee signing like him because he's cuz look at this the adaptation time is going to take less because he already understands the Ten Hag. He's going to it's, it's going to be much much easier for players to to adapt to the style in the middle of the park by having a player like that that does so much for you in terms of just, you know, in terms of just moving the ball. So mm. he does those aspects, but so, 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 so basically, you're saying that the only way he works at United is he needs the right pieces around him. So yeah, just him going back to Ten Hag and Ten Hag's system, which he flourished on that Ajax, ain't enough. It's it's not enough. It's it's, it's not enough. I mean, frankly, yeah, you, you guys are going to have to get you know players, obviously, that stretch the game, wingers that are really good. You're going to also have to get defenders that are ball-playing defenders, but that can also defend, obviously. And then your fullbacks... M- you fullbacks are going to be asked to contribute. This is going to be an all round where Ten Hag is going to need players that can play football, that can play football with their feet. Yeah, but, Dina, but Dina, okay. which is what Pogba never had. Which is what Pogba never had. It's, 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 it's going to take, take time. time. No, it's it's going to take yeah. time. But but the first thing is, if if you're Ten Hag, you're thinking about your spine. So you're like, at bare minimum, I need a spine. What I have is two midfielders that work under me, and and, and Van de Beek and and De Jong if he comes. What I need is a center is, is is a center back that contributes in terms of just build up play, but that's actually good in defense, obviously, because you're playing the EPL. And then you also need a striker, or 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 more importantly, a winger, because he he tends to rely on his wingers when it comes to creativity as well. So these are things that Man United are struggling with that they need in order for his system to work, because it's not going to work to its to its optimal best if you mm. if you end up not getting the pieces needed. And to be honest with you, the, this Diang news. My problem is selling De Jong, although financially it makes sense for me, it's about the players that we do have at hand. And I look at this and I see that the majority of, uh, you know, the majority of, of, of our performers in the middle of the park are youngsters. We don't have that much players that are between the age of 24 to 30. I know Frank Kessia fits into that mode, but we don't have players with experience in the middle of the park. That's something we're going to miss because sometimes you can't play a Gavi and Pedri. Like Gavi, he, he's an experienced playing and, and, and it's not going to work. So that's something that Barcelona is going to have to find a solution to. So that's another problem too. Cool. Cool. What do you think about this whole De Jong news, man? How, how, how do you feel? Cool. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. it. Um... Yeah, I agree with what Z-Man is saying. Um, I think he's been a system player um, even ever since he left uh, to uh, Barca. And um, one thing I'll also say is, for me, I think what Barcelona was expecting from him was to be um, a Busquets replacement. Because basically, um, right now, if you look at Barcelona, Busquets is really aging. He still has the touch but he doesn't have the speed in him you know that he used to have when he was very young but he's um that's what they were looking for from frankie de young and i don't think it panned out well because the thing about frankie is um like how z man said he's someone who just connects the ball with the defense and the attack so um i i would say he's kind of like a 
I mean, I don't know, Zeman. Would you say he's a box to box for me? For me, that, that's how that's what I'm. No, hearing. no, no, bro. He's a he plays in a double pivot, bro. As a double no, pivot. no, 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 no. But in terms, but yeah. in terms of box to box, that's the closest you can say in terms of resemblance. Like he doesn't have resemblance. A, he's, he's not yeah. a stick, he's not a does team. he have the legs for box to box? Yeah, that's yeah, the, he no, does. Yeah, he, yeah does. he does. He's, he he's does, physical. Yeah. It's just defensively, yeah. he's not that physical. Yeah, but you know he's what? His physical, yeah. You know what his biggest problem at Barca has been, bro. He's not very good defensively, and the biggest issue with that is he's playing alongside a geriatric Busquets that doesn't know how to defend either. So he, like, the combination has been bad because it's leaving the defense exposed. So, so then how did so you're, so so basically so you're saying that the Pedri Busquets thing worked because of how well they kept possession, so they didn't need to defend it out. No, that because much. you gotta realize Pedri, Pedri isn't the young bro. The Pedri is an like, yeah. attacking man. Yeah. No, no, and not to mention Pedri can actually switch the ball uh, with ease. He doesn't. Ease, he doesn't yeah. take that much touch yeah, with you, him. You can't compare Pedri yeah. to yeah. the differences. All right, yeah. so let me let let me hit these dubies. Let me hit these dubies, man. Um, from Osman Yelani. Thank you for the double, Osman. All the best players of the. Bundesliga, I think, would be black. <laughs> Sane, Musiala, Bellingham, Davies, Unkunku. I mean, it's, he has I, a I, point. I see no lies. I see no lies. <laughs> yeah, I see no peace lies, and power, it is. Peace and power. Um, David T on loan at Real Madrid still. Damn. Haters. De Jong is inconsistent. He wants to make it. Do you see who we have in midfield? McFred. I will take anyone who can cap, who can pass and keep possession. Here's what I'll say. I'm a huge Pogba apologist, and I will always be a <laughs> card-carrying member of the Pogba Football Club. But I do believe that De Jong under Ten Hag is going to be better for United than Pogba has been. A hundred percent. I think that's what's going to be better. Yeah. Yeah, Pogba is still the much better player. He's still much better. But for United with Ten Hag and Frank De Jong, it's going to be a much better fit than Pogba's entire tenure at Man United, and that's you know, that's you know, it, fact. Plus, Ten Hag, you mm -hmm. know, Ten Hag is mm. literally. I honestly believe Ten Hag will revolutionize United, bro. I honestly, I agree. Believe. But will he I bring agree. trophies? Though that's my that's that's my thing. I think I he'll think, have enough. No, he's gonna if take he time. Place, yeah, but I don't, I don't believe because, 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 because the issue is that as long yeah. as Pep and Klopp is here, I'm bro, I'm hearing that Pep wants to stay for ten years. I so I say ten years was a, a possibility. Yeah, but actually, for you United, know, no one's going to eat Abdul. Yeah, no one, no one for, eat United, it's not just about trophies; it's about, it's about competing again. You feel? And I don't say I know, I know, I know. Yeah. Um, depressed Arsenal, half hopes abandoned son. Oh wow. I need daddy come back home. <laughs> I'll support CFC. Hashtag FA. Uh, help yourself, bro. Help yourself. David C. on Lona Real Madrid. Thank you for the dub. De Jong, Donny to cook next season. I remember Van de Beek as well. So already two players right now that's works with, 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 with your boy thingy. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. United will look better. They will look better. The leg two could come. Probably the leg. So, so he's going to cost a million, bro. Hundreds and they have the money. They have the money, bro. No, and, and, oh, no, 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 Zeman. Not only do you guys have the money, bro. You they need the money. <laughs> okay, you they are cash straps. So they, they they need the money. Um, yeah, says De Jong is Cruyff without pace. That's they're, not necessarily true. That's not true, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cruyff. Bloody fool. Yeah. How are you comparing an attacking Aldo, winger to a big... midfielder? No, and, and Cruyff had more like creativity than De Jong's ever had in, in his game. So yeah. it's just like... Yeah. I mean, so he said he's Cruyff without... That is a horrendous comment. Horrendous, bro. Horrendous. Um, exactly, HH. I agree. Robin greater than Hazard. Not same level. I never said Robin's was better than Hazard. <laughs> I both said that they're, they're on the same level. Okay, yeah, right. same level. Both... Yeah. yeah, they're both on the same level. Okay, guys. Um, it's time... H, can I can I say something real very quick? Very quick, very quick. Go for it. I think I think Barcelona is also going through a problem because right now, um, we too have so many box to box players. And so what, what that does is um HH, what you have is you have players, midfielders who just keep pushing up high, right? But there's really no one. When let's say like the opponents are attacking to really like stop those attacks from the opponents. And that's why you see 
the opponents create chances like you see like uh, Alaves and all these other teams because they don't have that, uh, how do you say this, that DM who can sit back and really control the game, you know, and, and just like, you know, make sure that things get calm and so forth. So, yeah, I think I think um, for Barcelona, man, that's crazy, bro. Like, and even us too. So, yeah. yeah, man. Um, so, guys, let's 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 just keep things real, man. Um, I realize that they've already won the league, but someone showed me something that brought a tear to my eye. You see, for a long time, I've said that we don't have enough ballers, we don't have enough techniques. I've been saying this for a long time. That's where I said for a long time. Where, where, where are the ballers? Where are the ballers? Where, where are these ballers? Where are they at, guys? The what Benzema did to a keeper was sacrilegious. But not only was it that, it reminded me of the goat himself, the real Ronaldo. And what he did to a keeper. That keeper has still not recovered. But what he did to him in the freaking um, UEFA Cup final for Inter Milan against Lazio. I get it's Levante. I get these guys are a bunch of bums who are at the bottom of the table and they are completely down. But this is training because this is all about hashtag May 28th. This is all training for May 28th. And guys, I'm keeping it a stack bundle. I'm keeping it a stack bundle. Vinny Harry, the words of Ricardo. And Benzema cooking, doing his thing, it's all training. So my thing here is this, guys. Um, I want to ask you guys this, man. Do you how much do you read into this performance? Let me confess to Zeno. Benzema completely dismembering that keeper, the Vinny Hattrick. How much stock do you put in his performance? Or would you say hashtag Levante tax? This has zero to do with hashtag May 28th. Although this was like a great performance, this has nothing to do with the Champions League. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with the Champions League. And I'm sure even Real Madrid fans will be like, this This was just an occasion out. You guys already won the league. This, there was no pressure. There was nothing around it. Also, it was, key thing, it was no, a injuries, no injuries. No injuries. No injuries. It was just a practicing session. Because, Zeman, I have, you know, I have a nightmare that there may be a major injury before that final. Because, Zeman, I want everyone fits. I, want, I need everyone fits. Everyone fits for that final. So. Yeah, so I don't, but I'll be honest, I, I, I don't see this as being impactful. It's if Fabinho is injured. I know, I know, I know. But this is this is just a case where in which players were loose, no pressures, and they just decided to play around the goalkeeper. <laughs> it's just one of those cases where the quality just showed because uh, there's really nothing to play for. It's just at this point, it's a preseason game. It's a friendly. And to these guys, it means nothing, and it shouldn't mean anything because if you mm. come in with, that type of mentality where you think this is gonna this is this has somehow gonna translate to a to a Champions League final with a defense that's that's better light years but it's, this, this I'm is I'm not sure. even okay, close to this defense. Do you think that this can actually be sort of sort of be a detriment where you may get a false sense of confidence when you bamboozle a really crap team, you play amazing and so forth, and you're now going, hey, okay, boom, I'm feeling confident. Oh, damn, okay, it's Van Dyke. Oh, it's massive. Oh, Oh, these guys are actually can actually put it So could this actually be a detriment so easily destroying a team and being so overconfident after a performance like like that against the, the most bummer team in La Liga? Um, is it is it a confidence builder? You you can make that argument. Um I just I don't see this being as impactful as anything. I think coming into it, in fact, I think the Real Madrid players are gonna take it like this was a good performance, but mm -hmm. what they're look, what they're really looking forward to is 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 that is that UCL final. So if anything, they're gonna come into it with you know with this was a play around. But when things get mm -hmm. real, I think I think they're gonna be more um oh, no, more but, but I think for it. But what you say that especially on Twitter, people I think people are like reactionary matches. People like grab onto <laughs> everything. So, because again, like when I was Twitter, I was like, bro, like, did, did you see the goal Ben's birthday? Did you see what Ben's birthday did? Vinny Hattrick, Vinny Hattrick. And I'm like, oh, it's cool. But I'm like, it's Le it's Le Levante. Yeah, like, it's Le just... like, like Levante is a running joke on this channel. But at the same time, a Hattrick is a Hattrick. At the same time, a piece of amazing skill is a piece of amazing skill. But you have to take it within context. 
what is a good performance is a good performance is a good performance. But a good performance against Levante is different from a good performance against a PSG, a Chelsea, a, a Liverpool, and so forth, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah, Levante are like a negative 29. So, <laughs> if anything, these guys, I, I get it. Like, it's, I get, Levante are like, bro, they already know they're getting relegated, like, as, as, as soon as the goals went in. And I just feel like this game isn't in any way predicting anything. Um, mm. I know that, like I said, I know that the players are going to be coming in with confidence, but I don't know how much it will have an impact or an influence in terms of performances when this game didn't really mean anything to you guys. It's just that you guys showed the quality and gap between you and Levante and how, and how skillful your players are um, to make it, you know, and that, I, I don't know, man, that, that champions league is going to be a whole different atmosphere. Man. All different games. Like, all, like different all, games, all, all different predictions games. for what you did in the league go out of the way. It's, it's just you against them. You're boxing, and and that's and 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 that's where the real mentality shows. And I feel like Real Madrid at this point, of course, they understand that. And this this game is, is isn't too much to worry about. I know that some fans love bragging, you know, you know, making making that as a making that as almost a build up to to the game. I don't mm. think it will have an impact on the game whatsoever. Right. Abdul, what is what he say about, about about this um, Benzema Vini performance against Levane? You know what I find interesting, Agent? Can you just bring up the picture again? Pull sure. up the picture. You know what's funny? Like <clears throat> those two, like they they are Brick Academy graduates. Even <laughs> why did you have to bring that up? Oh why did you have to bring that up? <laughs> hey, Zidane, you messed up with this lineup. Oh, the intermissions no. are started. Should have been Morata. Oh no. <laughs> Abdul, you're a you're a, you're a, you're, a, you're a sick man. It is you're a sick man. Oh my goodness! Sick, but that's oh, that's by 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 by. Oh, for it, continue. Choking on the receipt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Abdul, can you can you can you can you show me this stupid man? <laughs> no, but it is like. Um... Bro, like they they still have games to go, man. They're playing Cadiz next, like Cadiz. <laughs> Come on, man. Cadiz, they're gonna ruin all the confidence they have. <laughs> no, 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 no. See, 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 Abdul, this, this is just my, my only hope. All my only care about these games is I don't want any injuries, because. May twenty eighth is because Abdul. These come on, man. We wait, we wait for this every freaking season. The UCL final. It is the it is what everything builds up to. This. No, like no one cares about Bomas, Queen Lizzie. Um, trophy or so forth we everything the league the cup everything the narratives that the hangouts the receipts the the talks the clips the youtube videos everything all roads lead to that ucl final and i'm due for may 28th if benzema gets injured if Salah gets injured, if Van Dijk gets injured, if Modric gets injured, Abdul, I'm going to punch Benzema, him in the face. Benzema can't get injured. You know why? Because you know Vinicius, he don't, he can't operate, he can't function without his daddy next to him. You feel me? But what if he does get injured? No, nah, but because then Real nah, to I'm, forfeit. I'm you, if, forfeit. He gets, if he gets injured, they might as well forfeit like the game. Um, but not like for Real Madrid, bro. Like they just seen out. Seeing out the season, like by each age, like we really have to at the end of the season, we have to have a discussion about Ancelotti turning this brick into one of the best up and coming players. H oh, wait, who Vinny, yeah, Vinny, because H H, I vividly remember this guy last wait, season. Well, didn't with when Real Madrid won the league with Zidane, didn't Vinny come clutch down the stretch? No. He scored, you, he scored two I remember, two I remember a season when, like, the last few games he came. No, no, for the whole season, he wasn't great, but for critical games, he came clutch for particular games it, that helped to close it, out it, the, the title. He, he, he's had two moments before this season. It was li against Liverpool last season, he turned up. You remember? Mm -hmm. Against Liverpool in that first leg. And then he scored in the El Clasico like two years ago. And that's about it. Uh, literally, you know, this season. Uh, like he hadn't scored more than, than three goals in a season before this season. God damn! So H H Ancelotti, like he he deserves a Nobel Peace Prize award or something, bro. For well, no, no, but Abdul, let's see because we have to see how everything closes. Because Abdul, I said again, hashtag May twenty eighth. The amount of no, narratives no, no, are, no, are I scary. No, I disagree. I disagree because regardless of what happens, this Madrid team 
has still has had an amazing season because no, 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 no. I, nobody I, I, expected them to Abdul, be. Abdul, if <laughs> Abdul, if they get levitated, we're not going to talk about how amazing the season is. But if if, if 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 Liverpool puncture them and Lara Croft, then we're not going to talk about. Oh yeah, come on! Like if they get touched. Now I'm not saying that's going to happen, but if they get touched. Bro, they, you, you got touched. They were no, having a different kind of discussion. I disagree. I disagree because when this season started, bro, like, honestly, I expected them to be, like, eating e- eating dog food in the caves with Barcelona, bro. Like, I'm telling you. But they're not, bro. Like, literally, they're eating, like, uh, they're eating oysters with the, with the elites of the elites in the castle. You feel me? They're not in the caves. And I expected them to be in the caves. So, bro, the fact that they're up eating with the elites, with the Vinny, you feel me? And a 35-year-old geriatric Benzema. Bro, like, fair play to them, man. Well, Abdul, and, and you make believe, where's Chelsea at? Are they are they the waitress? Bro, like, oh, no, 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 no. Zima, I'll they're they're the sewers. They no, no, Zima, the I'll, sewers. I'll tell you, no, Zima, <laughs> they're the legitimate UCL champions because you can't win the UCL without a wiggle. So we still remain the legitimate champions and winners. Cool. Talk to me about um, this whole Benzema and Vinny doing their thing. And what it means for the UCL fan now, hashtag May 28th, Liverpool are waiting, Ben. Cool. 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 All right. Um, now, guys, let's, this, this is a perfect way to end this. Match. Actually, before I end it, let's, let's hear something because this, because I love this, because I love being proven right. So let me just make sure I get all the hard. Here we go. Let's see this dubs. Um, yes, yeah, says. Mane will clutch the UCL drug bar eh, vibes. Um, we'll see. But real Madrid, beware. El, El, Dio, El Dio is pouring. And Salah is talking because Salah is talking that big talk. Salah is talking that big talk. So Salah is really feeling himself. And El Dio has returned. So, guys, man, I can't wait, bro. I'm just praying, please, no injuries. Please, no injuries. Please, no injuries. But I bet you I'm going to speak this into existence and there's going to be a major injury. It's going to be a major injury that's just going to ruin everything. Football gods, if you care about us, football gods, if you love us, if you love us, if you love us, you will make sure that everybody, everybody is fit, ready for hashtag May 28th. Miss B Nation, thank you for the door. Cinema to Cook Liverpool. I think he means Benzema. So, Cook Liverpool. Vini, 21 goals and 20 assists this season. Ms. B, respect Liverpool. Respect people who want revenge upon you. Respect the vengeance upon you. Respect because, Ms. B, no matter what happens, it's a big game. It's 50-50, but you know what? As much as this is Real Madrid and they've had a crazy run, I give Liverpool a slight edge. Only a slight, just a slight, slight edge. But, it's going to, but hopefully it's going to be a great game. Hopefully. I can't wait. Yeah. Daddy Oos has daddy issues. Mentions me like a bum. Oh. Um, daddy Oos says, yeah, a cringe clown who couldn't speak in front of men. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, so, okay, okay. Let's, 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 let's keep that rolling. Um, Chelsea. Go says Madrid beats PSG, Chelsea, and City to the final. They should be hella confident. Liverpool had a much easier run. Couldn't that hinder them? True. Now, I believe that initially, but Villarreal gave them a real scare. I believe how they were able to react from Villarreal away from home, horrible performance in the first half. I think that was their difficult task. But 100%, Real Madrid's path is is has been way tougher. And then if you have to, you have to just say, okay, you know, they've they, they, they've really had to come through the trenches. But you know what? A final is a final. All because Real Madrid had a tougher path doesn't automatically mean that they will win. But I do feel that it's they will mentally be stronger. They'll be they'll be mentally stronger than the final. But but here's the, the beauty. So Real will have the mental strength of what they've had to come through and the crazy path they, they, they've had to come through facing much tougher teams. Liverpool. 95% of this team were in that 2018 final. And bro, revenge is a powerful, powerful medicine. Revenge is a powerful medicine. So you have the path of Real Madrid. You have the narratives of Real Madrid. You have the, the co who won four UCLs. And you've, you've got guys who desperately want revenge. The narratives are absolutely freaking incredible. I heard, I heard the Militao, he's practicing MMA uh, ahead of Abdul. the game. We're going to see witchcraft. So get an MMA. We're seeing witchcraft. Nah, he's final. getting ready witchcraft. for Salazar. He's witchcraft. getting ready for Salazar. Bro. That was easy. Daddy U says, "Yeah, suffers from ain't no daddy at home disorder." 
ADHD. Jesus. All right. Thank you for that, bro. Yeah. Daddy Oos missed class. That explains his typing. <sighs> wow. Okay. Um, so, 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 guys, moving on to play. Um, guys. Yo, by the way, can I, can I give some shout outs? No. Shout no. out Alex One. No. Shout out uh, I said no, Martin but, Rosario. I actually said no, but fair enough. And shout out Samasia, who called me an idiot in Terry's chat today. Oh, that's nice. Um, let's talk about this. Guys. And people say, why do you have a picture of Shakira's husband next to the a, a, Valen a, 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 a Valencia managerial flop? Now that's because Neville does a show called Overlap. And for his next um, episode, he was interviewing PK. So it's okay. PK, who is okay. Well, PK gave us a very interesting insight. And the insights that your boy um, PK gave us was the fact that he confirmed, full confirmed that the rivalry between Mourinho and Pep really goes to Pep. And the reason for Pep leaving was because of Mourinho's antics within the press conference. It's fully proven right now. And I think that for years I said that he ran him out of time. But people, no, 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 he didn't run out of time. You were just making the stuff up. This was a man who was right in the trenches. He talks about how Pep was in the dressing room, his mannerisms. And this was a guy who was very, very close to Pep. Remember, he's Catalan as well. So he was very close to Pep. And he believed that what, how Mourinho was operating on the pitch, off the pitch, in press conference, got into Pep Guardiola. Because he talks about the mind games and the psychological abuse that Uncle Mo used that's encroached upon the beside tree of your boy Pep. And I tried to explain this to people, but people did not listen. Because this, this, this is what, 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 what I always say about um, this stuff, man. Um, this was an amazing rivalry. Hands down, this, was, this is the greatest managerial rivalry of all time. Hands down. No one cares about Fergie Wenger. No one cares about Fergie Benitez, Mourinho Wenger. No, Klopp and Pep is a freaking Mickey Mouse rivalry. This is the greatest managerial rivalry of all time. All time, hands down. Hands down. Um, what made this so good was they hated each other. They really hated each other. And PK came out and said, oh, no, no, no. He didn't, he, he did not like Mourinho. This wasn't just like a sporting thing and we have to be um, adversaries from a sporting point of view. No, this was real. This was deep. Pep did not like Mourinho. And Mourinho, I think Mourinho was indifferent towards Pep, but Mourinho wanted Pep to hate him because Mourinho was using that mental power and mental prowess that is one of his greatest strengths and assets to get to Pep and to get to Barcelona. Um, so that's why this thing was absolutely amazing. But I just think that it is interesting that PK revealed that. I, I knew it. Because I, because bro, I watched the games, I watched the interviews, I watched the back and forth. I, I think the first time you ever saw Pep swear at a press conference was because of something that Mourinho said. So you saw how Pep was coming out of his character and was coming out of character because of freaking Mourinho. And it just shows that mind games is a very, very powerful thing in, in, in football. So, and look, I think overall Pep did, did his thing. And they maybe had a bit of a log up. And what Pick even revealed in the interview was we knew we were, we were the, the better team. We knew we were more quality. We had the better players and we were superior to these guys. So if we just focus on, on the football, it, it was cool. I think Mourinho deep down knew that these guys, technically speaking, on a footballing tip, may be better. So we need something extra to take their team ethos and mentality out of their element. That's why Uncle Mo was such a freaking G. He used everything to his freaking power. Everything to his power. Um, but ultimately, we all know who broke the goals record, who said what's up in La Liga. And after that, I just think Pep couldn't, couldn't take it. All I'll say, and I'll come back to the panel, is this is my biggest regret. That we didn't have this rivalry for an extended period of time. Because I think that it would have ended up them fighting each other. And I needed a celebrity death match 
where they both punch each other and end up with broken bones, broken faces, and blood on the grass. I needed to see that. I needed to see that. So that's unfortunate, man. Um, Abdul, man, talk to me about, about this rivalry, man. And he let, I mean, he, he ran him out of town. According to PK, he ran him out of town. It's funny Pep couldn't, couldn't take it. As soon as I, I heard it, I screen recorded it and I sent it to you on DM yeah. instantly, bro. Because, <laughs> like, I instantly thought of, thought of you because you've been saying it for so long. I mean, to be fair, he did say it was only one of the reasons why he left, but, mm. but I do but think it it's one reason. of the big reasons. You feel me? <laughs> but, bro, like, yeah. you know what's crazy? Like, I don't know why Pep was so rattled, bro, because this guy was dropping five nils, man. Like, HH, how can you get rattled by somebody you're beating 5-0 and you're dropping... That, no, no, no. Trouble? That's what's made it interesting. Because, see, I remember at the time that... I don't know. But I said, remember, this is a team that guys are saying this is perhaps one of the greatest teams we've, we've ever seen. And we knew it's one of the greatest teams we've ever seen that has one of the most talented players we've ever seen. So I was like, bro, why are you bothered? But it just shows you that Pep has very thin skin. He does, because, he does. Because look at Pep now. Look at how much the whole UCL thing is affecting him. Look at, look, you're about to win the league 4 to 5 and look at how he's affected by what guys are saying in the reporters. He's got very, very thin skin and he's very easily rattled. It he's is, very this easily is why, rattled. This is why I hate your bum ass club and this is why I hate that German, German Bundesliga club because, bro, in 2012, there should have been a, a, a El Clasico Champions League final. Imagine, bro. That, I think... That's. I tell you right now. You see, this is what I said. I said like, I like a Champions League final to be between two differences. That's why I'm so glad City didn't get it. Yeah, but this, this is different. This is different. This and is... El Clasico final with these two would have, bro, that would have broken re records. That would yeah. have been mad. That would have been a mad final. But to be fair, honestly, I was, I was still there. I was still like young when this was going on. I was like. Uh... I, I I don't think I was a teenager back then. Like I just yeah yeah yeah. I, mean, I was I was of age. I don't remember my age, but yeah, I was you know. Was, yeah yeah yeah. So so I don't remember it vividly vividly. Oh oh no no. Abdul was amazing. Abdul yeah, was, was so good. Like, I, I remember <laughs> because, because see because see, those match because we have to understand that not only did you have Ozil, you had uh, Modric in there, you had Cristiano, you had Benzema, you had Ramos, Iniesta, Javi, Messi, all of their peak. So you had high quality for football. You had the um, foundation of the political backdrop of Catalonia and Spain, but you also had two managers at their peak as well who hated each other. And because they hated each other, the players hated each other. And what Piquet said is that that hate bowled over because Piquet said that when Spain met up, he went to go and greet E.K. Casillas and Casillas didn't greet him. And Piquet yeah. said, no, nah, no, nah, this is due to Mourinho. You, you know what's really you know what's crazy? Like it's for me, I find it crazy how they managed to operate on the international level when there was such a big rivalry. Because HH, this was during the Spanish Golden Generation, bro. Mm. And it just makes me think, like, what if this rivalry hadn't happened? Could they have gone on for longer, bro? Could they have gone on for no, longer? No, 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 but, but here's, no, here's the thing, though. It is it didn't affect them because you, you saw how well. No, no, no. Basically. So, the same thing happened with England, and it affected England a lot more than Spain. I think that that's why that is why we have to give Del Bosque a lot more credit, because they were interviewing Rio, and Rio said that when they did the England camp, the United fans sat on one table, the um, Chelsea fans sat on one table, and so and so forth, and he felt that that actually affected the, the the team. But when you look at Spain, obviously there'll been a little bit of beef there and everything, but when you just look at how they played and how they operated. You saw that okay. This is Spain. We're going to operate much more the same. So I think there was there was much there was more cohesiveness for Spain and how they operated than also because t when they got beat in 2014, bro, come on, three international trophies in a row, and guys let, were now going yeah. through. Let me just ask this question: Like, do you mm. think society and football has become too soft for us to see something like this again? Oh yes, for sure. Yeah, because, because I'm no, no, seeing. Because, I'm, I'm seeing like Klopp and Pep like hugging each other, bro. Like, 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 like no, because see, Mourinho was. This is see, it's it's one of those things. Mourinho is a unicorn. Like Mourinho changed the game 
management. It's like we'd never seen a manager with that kind of charisma, character, savviness before. Pep is a regular dude. But Mourinho, oh, Pep is a regular dude. Wenger's a, a, a regular dude. Mourinho brought something out of Wenger. Mourinho brought something out of Pep. Look at how Pep is operating now with Klopp and so forth. But look at how Pep operated with, with Mourinho. So Mourinho was the disruptor. Because Mourinho was like, oh, no, no, no. I am I'm me. I'm just different. I'm caught from a, a different cloth. So the thing, so the real question, Abdul, is will we see another Mourinho? Because would you, you need the disruptor. Would you say, does Simeone remind you of Mourinho? No. All right, all right. He, 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 he doesn't have the charisma. Like, mm. he's a disruptor, but he doesn't have the charisma. Because Mourinho, like, bro, Mourinho has literally made a football scene that we now say on Twitter, if I speak. That's now a standard football scene that he created. <laughs> you know, if I speak has now gone into the history books of this is now a football scene that's ever, you seen, I see he, now. He, he's flirting with Chelsea again. Have you seen Roe? Don't, 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 tempt, don't tempt me, man. Don't tempt me. Abdul, Abdul, don't tempt me. Wait, would you Abdul, be down, me. bro? Would you would you be down? Abdul. Oh my god, Abdul. shameless man. Abdul. <laughs> Abdul, 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 man. Abdul, I mean, you could Abdul. be having a Conference League winner, bro. A Conference League winner at the club. Bro. A European winner, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, I mean, so, okay, so you don't remember those classical things then, like from 11, 2011, 2012. So, okay, what do you remember? HH, back then, there wasn't like YouTube, there wasn't like these channels. There wasn't YouTube. There, there was YouTube, but there wasn't these channels, there wasn't these ESPN. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There bro, was, no, no, no. Don't do what Twitter I hope. Wasn't the, bro, like, um, imagine, okay, imagine if this, like, the last few years was Pep and Mourinho's pick. Imagine what the hangers would be like. Oh, oh my, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, man. Bro. Imagine Montana <laughs> after five nil, bro. Imagine Montana after five nil. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> <laughs> bro, imagine the hangers, because, because out, we'd have so much material. Because, bro, because you know what? I'm a Mourinho guy, bro. The hangers would be god damn, man. It's, it's imagine like, imagine if we forth, if we had man. the and on oh, no, this is peak Messi, peak Cristiano, peak in the hangers would be freaking amazing. The hangers would be so good. They'd be so good, man. Uh, uh Zeman, talk to me, Zeman, talk to me, talk to me. No, nah, man, the jokes would be wild, man. Some people would be leaving tears after the hangout. <laughs> Some people would leave in tears. But nah, man, that yeah, that that is the greatest rivalry in, in history, man. None yeah. none of None of this uh, Arsenal Wenger versus uh, Fergie clapping for him. No, 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 no. on the UCL. This guy couldn't deliver. But listen, man, I think I think it was. And, and I think um, what Pep's done at that moment in building that team and Mourinho coming in. And the way Pep, you know, that's when the mind games really started for Pep. He would use the mind games, but his mind games went overboard when Mourinho arrived. Yeah. Because if, yeah. if you if you were quotes from the past, like, after before before Pep received that that that, that four zero that, that levitation, mm. he uh he he would say stuff like we must respect Mourinho he's always right and he would give him that <laughs> yes five I remember that yeah 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 I remember that I remember that yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and then that, he would give him that five piece and when when this guy when this guy when, when this guy came from from that press conferences and, and 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 he was in the hotel people were clapping for him for for making that speech and respecting Mourinho just to give him a five piece this is like this guy's sick he's sick in the head he <laughs> and his mind games really started with with Mourinho man this his mind games really started with Mourinho and you know, it was, it, it is, it is the greatest rivalry. I don't think there's any rivalry that has the, you know, the, 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 the not only, not only the social aspects, but just the club aspects of, of what these two clubs stand for. And it's just like, we're not going to see a rivalry like that. But again, Mourinho to come in, he's, he's, he's mainly the reason that he built upon the, what is it? The, 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 the spine that made that Madrid 3P, if you look at it. Um, I believe Madrid came around when he was the manager. Varan was there. Um, I believe he's the manager that transformed Sergio Ramos into a center back. So he's kind of involved in, in, in that rebuild process for them and, and, and giving them that winning mentality. So you have to give him credit in that aspect. In terms of how much did Mourinho had in Pep leaving, I think it was one of the aspects, but I don't think it's it's the main aspect. I don't think it's the main aspect. The main aspect was like Sandor Roussel, and, and, and shockingly enough, Pep actually wanted to sell PK. Mm. Yeah, he, he wanted Danny Alves PK. He wanted the majority of these guys gone. But the problem is Sandor Roussel picked the players over the manager. And he kind of felt unhappy. So 
he he had a desire to leave because he did he wasn't getting that much control. He wasn't getting as much control as he did at Man City, even though he's delivered a lot for Barcelona. And that had a lot to do with it. And just it, it gets tiring managing the same players. And I don't think he got along with Pep towards the uh, I don't think he got I don't think Pep got along well with uh PK more than any other player. So if anything, mm. I think that contributed to him leaving. But, 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 but look, 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 look at this quote. And I, and I said, I remember this. So this is when Pep finally actually responded to Marina. Like this was 2011. So in this room, he's the chief, the effing man. In here, he's the effing man and I can't compete with him. If I not want someone who competes with us, then they should, f they should look for another manager. But we as a person and an institution don't do that and so forth. But you see, this, was, this is him admit, admitting that Mourinho is just more charismatic and better with the media than him. But it proves that he was rattled because, Pep, you don't have to say anything. Just win. Like, you do your talking on the pitch. That, that You know, they're sort of saying, we'll do our talking on the pitch. We don't need to say anything. So the need, the fact that you felt the need to respond and say something meant that you were rattled. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which, again, man, it's just, it's, it's the so, mind so, game. So, 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 so you feel that the Sandro Russell thing was much more of a contributing factor than Mourinho? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th I think it's a more contributing factor. I, I do think that it was it was getting tiresome in terms of just competing and 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 again, he him wanting a new experience as a manager that does contribute to it. But at the same time, I think it was just down to the board because remember, Sandro Rosal also gave us a uh, Bartomeu. It was under Bartomeu's management, so mm. uh, God knows the type of stuff this guy was dealing on a week week in week basis and just transfers and whatnot, and getting the players he wanted. So if anything, it, it did contribute the most. I think that's what contributed the most. But yeah, man. But that's again, that's where Pep's uh, mind games really started, man. Um, cool. Um, Pep talked me this whole Pep and Mourinho ri ri rivalry and this rivalry between Pico Bas and Pico Madrid. Yeah, sorry if you hear noise in the background. <laughs> Some, something. Um. Anyways, um, wait, wait, so, wait, what's, what's um, that noise? What's that noise? Yeah, I always felt that Pep was superior in terms of footballing wise, um, to Mourinho. Wait, wait, wait. Cool, cool, um, cool, cool, cool. Me no, we're not cool. I can't s turn down the music, bro. Turn down the music because I, I can't hear what, what the hell you're, you're, you're freaking saying, bro. Okay, so come, you have to turn. He, he's at a concert. He's at a, he's at a concert. You're, you're, are you, are you, are you at a concert? No, um, I'm at this like Rotary Club. Um, okay, you know what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, you know, I, I think it's a cyber. Yo, 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 me, bro. Um, wait, hold on. Um, yeah, says Mu, um, Mu is different gravy, pep to, but only with, mo with money. Look, I say, we'll, we will never see a more charismatic manager than Uncle Mu, it's never happened. Never happened. That, that's just a fact. Fire Z Fist Z um, says Sadio Mane's record on semifinals and finals for Liverpool played 12, play, okay, played 12 goals and assists, 10. Okay, sorry, I think it's okay. He played, okay, sorry, played 12 goals and assists, 10. Always pivotal. UCL 2018 final. UCL 2019 and Liverpool's best player in the EPL win. No, look, as I said again, um, Sadio Mane is going to be huge. Sadio Mane is going to be huge in that final. And he's going to be, 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 be critical. And here's the thing, though. If Mane comes clutch in that UCL final, enough for a Ballon d'Or no, or no, a Stolet no, 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 no. over Benzema. No, no. It's a Stolet, it's Stolet, it's Stolet. It's Stolet. It's Stolet. Okay, what if he drops a three piece? H -H, even though he won the Afcon, mm. H -H, I still think. Ben, oh no 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 no! Benzema, has to be, no for me. Benzema has for me. Benzema H -H, has to get it. No matter what, Benzema has to get it. Let me ask you a question though. Do you? Think... No no no, 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 If Salah drops a two piece, you know that his campaign is going to be huge. <laughs> I, I still disagree because he's been since Christmas. Since Christmas. Oh yeah, yeah. Hold on. Oh, for me, Benzema is the Ballon d'Or winner. No, but there's H -H, nothing H -H, anyone H -H, can do. Let me ask you a question. Mm. Do you think the whole Benzema getting prosecuted, the reason? No, no, I think I, no, I think no, the French I think, people like him. Because basically, I, I like I saw Rio's because Rio did like whole Instagram thing like after Benzema after the game against uh, Man City and he was like, "Yo, Benzema, Ballon d'Or, Benzema, Ballon d'Or." It's a thing now, and I think everybody, I think everybody has just come with an uh, agreement that this is the Ballon d'Or winner. Because there is nobody that's even come close 
to have done what he's done in La Liga and the freaking UCL. Like, even if the guy, here's the thing, even if Benzema drops a disaster class, a disaster class, he'll still win because 2006, he he Ronaldinho dropped a disaster class and that's final. But you can't negate what the guy did to take a battle to that UCL final and when Messi, he did that yeah, season. And Messi, and Messi in 2019. Yeah, it's, no, it's also... But it's he also... Didn't make the, no, but he said what's up in the first leg, though. Second leg, his team left it down. But my thing that is that this is the same as Dino. Dino dropped a disaster class in 06, but the guy was super hype all the way through the UCL and through that season. So even if Benzema drops a disaster class, what he's done on the run-up is... It's mind-boggling. <laughs> it's mind-boggling what he's done. So, like, this would be the biggest robbery of all time. Like, Ribery and Slender, I thought, was big. If Benzema does with the Ballon d'Or and it's somehow make an excuse to give it to Messi <laughs> or to Salah or Thingy, it would be the biggest robbery of all time. Nah, you would have to cancel that. You have to no, isn't it, isn't, it, isn't it based on uh, it happens at the end of the season, right? Instead of it being like... I believe this I believe this time when they do it, it's, it's for... For the for, for for the season, this is something to do for the season. Oh, for the but you know, you know, yeah. you know what I find funny though, like uh, people they are so hypocritical when it comes to the Ballon d'Or, like, and 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 just like personal awards, like in general, like if the person they don't, if the person that they don't want to win wins it, they'll try to discredit it. Oh, it doesn't matter. It, personal PR. Award. And they're, 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 when uh, your guy wins it, that's oh, fans, Ballon d'Or, Ballon d'Or, exactly. that's exactly. fans, man. You know, you know who you know who I'm talking about. Red, red. If, oh. I don't know, he's probably not listening. Or red, bro. Like, don't be shameless, man. He was talking shit about it last year, bro. <laughs> no, he'll be shameless, man. He'll be shameless. All right, guys, let's get out of here, man. So, guys, we'll be back here tomorrow for who? May fourteenth. Wait, guys, guys. Liverpool better not lose that FA Cup final, man. On Saturday. Hassan has to host it. Hassan has to host it. Because, guys, Liverpool they better win at least two or three trophies. Because there's a narrative going that I don't even want to put into the, the universe. H -H, H -H, Zima, what do you want? H -H, man. If, if Salah doesn't show up for, let's say, he doesn't show up for the Champions League and this guy absolutely gets mollywopped and he doesn't have a great performance, you think that the fact that this guy's been talking about it so much that... that I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if Liverpool... He has to... No, 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 no. Zima, he has him, to back it up. No, no. Ziman, I'm expecting a huge UCL final performance and a big FCO final performance. You can't talk like that and not back that thing up. <laughs> he's 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 got to back that thing. I've got to back that thing up. So look, my thing, but Ziman, my thing is that bro, Liverpool, the way they've been talking, you better win that FA Cup final on May 14th. You better win that FA Cup final on May 14th, bro. And that's what I'm saying. So, guys, we're back here tomorrow for an FA Cup final preview and, a, and some transfer news, but mainly FA Cup final preview and all that beautiful stuff. Jamal has to host the post-match if they lose. 1,000%. <laughs> guys, peace out. Stay true. One love. Peace. 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 peace.